What's good, chat? Hello, hello. Hi. Dude, I'm we gonna got, go we play got, my game. We got Ashcon on the mic. He's about to play. <laughs> he can sit down real quick though oh. while we wait. I believe Deca is uh, kicking a football in the oval. I think uh, I should go play. Yeah, you should go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's up, Joey? What How are up? you? How are you? I'm good. You're a big cheese ball. Dude, I love being a big cheese. It's actually the best. I gotta, I gotta ask. Where yeah. Testing. Oh, here we oh, go. We I'm in. Hello, oh, hello. Right, can you swap them, actually? Swap the mics. Swap the mics? Yeah. Right. Say it ain't so. Whoa, I'm really loud. I'm so sorry. There you go. Hello, hello. Right, we're into it. We're here at Big Cheese. Round two pools, SSBM. We got Jimmo on the right against the invader, Ashcon. Denizen of California, globe trotting around the world, Yo, specific, you know, specifically you know to come it? to. He's specifically traveling to come to Big Cheese. That's this is hype. the reason he's here. That's hype. To actually. enjoy international melee. He's air dodging off the stage. Ew. Be a classic melee person. To in the past. So I know him from you know back in the Showdown Smash days, mm. right? I never had a conversation with him, right? However. Yeah. Um, USA. Yes, sir. Oh, I don't have a USA. Fuck. Man, we gotta I do it manually. Have, I should have had one. Fuck. Alright, he's SA for now. Alright, there we go. I'll, I'll That's get the that. reason he's here. So he's been living with Dom Hines in, uh, in oh, Melbourne. Oh, sick. Not living, but you know. Okay. Sleep, sleeping on the couch. Yeah, as it smashes it do. It's a form of living. <laughs> and he's here for Big I think he heads back pretty soon. In a I'm couple so of happy weeks. to have him here, actually. Yeah, it, makes me, it really, really warms my heart. He's a great fellow. Oh shit, that didn't tip her? Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, that's Alright, right, he takes the lead though. Jimmo, another TO, another melee personality. Person. You know, TO's are Smash on Scott in Melbourne. It's a house tournament, a very popular one. I love Smash on Scott, actually. And TO in Camp Firefox, the Coming upcoming up. camp, you know, Smash Camp esque Australian event. You know, caps out roughly at uh, 72 people. It's at 58 right now. And the event's in December. So people are getting uh, getting amongst it. And we're all very excited for Jimmo's, Jimmo's Camp Firefox. Jimmo, not really known for his melee gameplay, though. Yet. Play yeah, Sheik. exactly. You can see they got the tags on Camp F Fox. They're both repping it. Even Ashcon is, is, is with it. He's hit with it. So... We for the people at home, when is Camp Firefox? It's December 15th. It's at a camp north of Melbourne. Not too far out. Not like several hours. I would say maybe from the city an hour. An hour's drive north. So if you're in Melbourne and you you, you see stuff like Smash Camp in, in Arizona. Oh, nice. Right, Ashcon going on. Ashcon, uh, a melee player within his own right. I mean, aren't we all melee players in our own right? Well, some of us. <laughs> there, you know, there's personalities. There's You're right, yeah. Content creators. Content creators. I wouldn't call a content creator a melee player, I'll tell you that much. Ooh. Ooh. Too spicy. Spot is the counter pick of choice. Right, I, think we got a, I think we've got a USA now. Hell yes. What kind of sweet emo. Whoa, that looks good as hell. That's a good run, alright? That's sick. I'm happy. Yeah, that looks that's cute. Actually, I gotta ask. I have, you Hit know, me. while while I got you here, KB Kaiser. Hit me. The uh, design for the Big Cheese logo this year was, was based on Street Fighter 4. Of course, yeah. As this Big Cheese 4. But Street Fighter 4 is not at the Big Cheese 4. I know. What is... What is who... The who, reason why... Who blundered? Well, the <laughs> no, reason why is because really the only way that we're going to be able to play Street Fighter 4 nowadays is PC. Oh. So... That's, limited that's limited resources. Yeah, sort of, right? I feel you. I it's feel it's you. one of those things, right? Like, Because the thing is, the thing about it for me is that... Um, you know, the game is, I, th I think it's a great game still, despite its flaws. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, but the best way to play it's on a computer. I hate That's to say. true. That's true. That's fair enough. Resources are uh, important these days. And I cannot hate. I cannot hate for a man who knows what a resource is and how to use it. Oh, yeah. We were very short on resources yesterday, let me tell you. It's all right. All good now, though. You know what? It is a really good day today. And, um... I gotta say, Jimo's looking real good at the moment. Yeah, you know, even though he got a little, a little uh, smacked up last game, he's holding his own. 
just needs a couple more grabs, a couple more conversions. Oh, you hate to be whipping those. Wow. CC. They're just like slapping each other at the moment. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit of a, you know, do aerials in place until we get into a scramble stage, and then whoever CC first probably wins. And that's a script I like to follow. Could it be that Skip has his BM is coming down to commentate with me? He is also, in fact, here to join the script. Hop on. Yeah, go, go. Skip has his B. Hello, hello. Welcome. How are we feeling? You hear Welcome. me in your ears? You, we can. Amazing. I'll turn you up a bit. Just, there you just go. for that. Thank you so turn much. Up. Max him out. What a, uh -oh. what, a, what a treat for me this oh, is. It's been, how long has it been, Jordy? It's been a while. You know, usually we're too busy swagging out in bracket to commentate. Mm. But now that the schedule has allowed for me for and you, for the first time in recorded history, we're in the same wave of calls. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps that is true. And here we are commentating Ashcon versus Jimo. The invader. We've got the cute little American flag emoji. Oh, I love that. Kai just sourced that right now. That's emoji. epic. That's epic as hell. And we've got awesome. Jimmo looking to clutch up. Uh, oh, he's got an up B. I like the collaboration on the tag. Yeah, for Camp Firefox. No, that's oh, way too early to go Zelda. Oh, no. Ashcon clutches out. Kind of doomed. Regardless, Ashcon. Wait, wait, wait. How does Ashcon have a couch for his cross up t shirt? <laughs> I mean, he he's wasn't there. dumb, right? Is this a Dom Hines borrowed yeah, shirt? Dude, that's so awesome. <laughs> Where'd you get that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been staying at Dom's. Yeah, yeah. Presumably, he's uh, yeah. they're mixing, matching their their wardrobes. I mean, it's a fire shirt. It is. Ooh, Speaking of fire, campfire fox. Campfire fox, December fifteenth, in the heart of Victoria. But right now, we're at the Big Cheese Four. We're out here. It's gone. You got anything to say to the fans, Ashcon? This guys, no. I love gaming. He loves, he gaming. loves gaming. That's a good thing to say. I agree. Hey, go to campfire fox. Go yeah, to campfire fox. That's what we're saying. Crazy, we were just saying that. You actually genuinely, if you don't sign up soon and commit to it, you might miss the chance. It's filling up. It's filling it up. It is filling up. There's only, I think, one cabin left. In terms of cabins? Noel, I think there's quite a few spots and cabins left. There's, yeah, spots the, and cabins, the, but like one entire cabin. Yeah, full, full cabins. If you're trying to squat up with your homies in a cabin, you might be pissed out of luck. But there's plenty of new homies to be made. Yeah, there's also, you know, if you sign up now, you will be... You won't be cabinless. No such thing exists unless you opt in for cabinless. You will enter the enter the sweepstakes to join the Skip Microsoft J cabin. Oh, good heavens! Yes. If you're a friend of us and you need a cabin, let me know. But you got to be a friend of us. The chain grab? How often do you see this? People uh, always bring it up on commentary, but nobody does it. The fox chain grab? Yeah, the fox chain grab on Captain Falcon. Because even on FD, it's like so much more money to just like up throw up smash Falcon or up throw up tilt. You reckon? Yeah, I think so. That's why you don't see it. Like it's just you get. A cleaner, more damaging, less execution conversion by just doing moves mm. off up throw. Interesting. Ooh, Interesting. Good awareness by Sindokus. Is there some kind of DI on the up smash that can lead to no follow up afterwards? Maybe. As Falcon, who knows, man? Like, this guy gets combo. Yeah, like maybe you want to get Falcon to like a percent where you can get like some kind of up tilt on a neutral DI or like an yeah, up throw yeah. up tilt situation. Who knows? Like, maybe the train grabs only on uh, DI left and right? That's what I'm thinking. That's yes. what I'm thinking. And you get like. So, like, he, just to yeah. dodge the up tilt, you just go left and right, I guess, but then you get grabbed. So, yeah. good awareness by Josh, man. Anyway, let's talk about these players real quick. Sudoku's up and coming, long time up and coming, but recently slightly, how do I phrase this, slightly uh, faster on the come up yeah. in Victoria. Was up, you know, back in the day, took a bit of a step away from the game. For years. Yeah. Has po post COVID, he's been grinding, he's been getting wins. I, th I think he's beaten Dekka the Goat the last three times in a row. Yeah. Which is very impressive. And uh, beaten Sumi, I think, the last yeah, beating two times. Yeah, beaten Sumi Rex. Used to be a demon for Sindoku, so now Cindy's uh, cleaning Sumi Rex up. Sheik Falcon matchup. The gap, though, between young Josh Man and Sindoku might be a little too wide. Yeah, this is um, a tough first seed for, for anyone, I would say, at this tournament. Yeah, I would say if Josh Man's in your pool, you better be like, ah, second out would be pretty good. This is, but this is a tough second seed for Josh, you know. Yeah, I mean, Sudoku's is no uh, slouch, man. If he, if he hits the punish game, that's the, the difference maker. He's got swag and he's got fans. He really does have fans. Syndicus has like a cult of personality going right now. If you're a uh, American watching, Australia doesn't ha really have like a top player fan culture. We're called we're, we're friends is what yeah. the kind of dynamic is here. Yeah, Syndicus does have friends. We don't have VIP rooms, nothing like that. So Josh Man and Syndicus, they're just our friends. Oh hey, my. big knee cleans them up. It's so cool to see like Cindy going for such confident reads against like. Such a, a world class player. Such an ethereal being as yeah. Josh, you know, like it's very easy to be like, this guy's so leagues ahead that yeah, I'm just gonna play safe. Try to play it safe, yeah. try to go for like up air or something when he comes back in. But no, he's saying you are gonna jump here. 
Yeah. And I'm going to hit you with my knee. It's really cool. Love to see confident gameplay. Can pick Sitch. Presumably, uh, Battlefield off the table by looks of it. Pokemon angle. Yeah, looking like Stadium. Classic pick for Captain Falcon. Uh oh. Take it to the. Ooh. Syndicus really needs to take these grabs to the bridge. Mm. Knock it down it. Okay. Oh, Ooh, my, oh god. my god, the conversion. That dash attack was. Okay, clean. stop doing weak moves, man. <laughs> the moves are too weak, man. Up there would have killed. Probably, yeah. Actually, maybe. maybe I, th not. I think up there would have. You don't know, understand. Captain Falcon. He's always living. Yeah. God, I was. The foreplay went on for too long there. Jody. Oh, yep. Ah, CC. Big difference is uh, people are skilled crouch cancelers in North America. Mm. People do it here, but it's a little more by the books, the way they CC, you know? Yeah, and it's... You find it used in a lot more situations in America where, like, the options after the CC just kind of go crazy. Yeah. And a lot of the time, CC is used here purely for defense, whereas, like, it's a lot more reversal kind of... Yeah, you kind of find spots where you can get a crouch out yeah. in America, whereas here it's like, people are usually acting. And so the ACI down is a little more common. Yeah. So when you have to actually play around CC, a lot of players aren't ready. Yeah. Ledge? No, go straight. Damn. See, Josh Man, even against players where he's like, clearly like a heavy favorite, you know, has a better punish game, he's still mixing it up. Yeah. Josh is the kind of guy that can sit down on the setup with anyone and like take something away from the session. Yeah. He's such a independent learner. My man excelled at independent reading time in school. <laughs> He was like, Del Toro Quest? Yes, please. I'm oh trying to God. go on a journey. Great book. Shout through out to, uh, through Winner's Bracket. Leaf. Leaf. I don't know. Leaf, yeah. The main and, uh, guy. Bardo was the big guy. Oh, yeah. Gotta have a big guy in every uh, squad. Yeah, you gotta have a big guy. You can have Frodo, but someone's gotta be freaking Gandalf. Oh, yeah. You're kind of like a Gandalf to me. Dude, which one, though? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, that pivot, uh, gentlemen, was nice. Even though he didn't get the gentleman. And Syndicus has evened up this game. Dude, I'm loving the gameplay right now. Two very Syndicus. clean stocks. Looking like Smaug. He's Killing fast, this dude. he's clean, he's confident. Oh, oh what a crouch God. cancel. What a crouch that cancel. That is awesome. Pretty sure ASDI down would have crushed that knee as well. <laughs> so he knew that he was going to get a crouch out. Hits him with the latest of up airs. Not quite a trick shot, but within the trick shot book. Dude, did you know Cindy was sponsored by the Woodville Warriors? Oh shit. Also, the Woodville Warriors? Yeah, really pick up for them, I think. Oh, it tries to read a tech in the place. Delay again. See, Syndicus is also mixing up. He knows. He's like, this time delay, this time read. Oh, okay. potentially. Ah, uh, ledge there. Up. That's the notch angle. Uh oh. Uh, big damage. Oh, right. try to sneak out. With it. Some kind of a big oh. hit. Wow. Wow, what a conversion. That jab was uh, kind of crazy. That was crazy. Did I, I feel like jab dash attack there? I was expecting some kind of forward air scenario, but... Maybe not the fan favorite situation we wanted, but uh, Senegas did put up a fight. That, yeah, that I, was really cool. He was killing him where it counted, mm. but just not enough times in a row. I'm, um... Syndicus has made a fan out of me today, let me tell you. The, oh, today? A friend, even. A friend? Yeah. What's he done, man? Just through the gameplay. Oh, I see. Um, I'm, a, I'm a believer now, because I think... Last time I would have seen Syndicus gameplay was at the last local I was at, and we played, and we were both playing like one out of tens. Mm. Terrible set. Yep. You know, scrape, you know, strike it from the record. But, um, you know, now I'm seeing the so fresh and so clean gameplay. He's been grinding, man. He's been saying he's looking at uh, the Spacey's legs when he's tech chasing. Yeah, I got to. That's gotta next do level. That, man. That's, looking uh, at the legs. That's how you know. I remember whispers years and years ago, maybe like five years ago, of someone making like an app that's like a tech chasing like reaction point thing, what? which would be really useful because like I would, one of those. I would love to just be on my phone, yeah, and just be practicing studying the animations. Like, if someone could make that, Ooh, and then you get like a little circle pad that you have to hit like a quarter circle to do dash back out of crouch. Oh, okay. You don't get that tactile feel, but maybe that would work. You plug in. Uh, like just the control stick into the like USB port of your. You know how you can like detach N64 control sticks. Mm. You hook hook up one of that. So it's just a, it's just like a single little guy. Yeah, a little that would suction work. cup onto your yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah. This is crazy. Dude, if someone if, makes if this, you want to make money, I'll pay between one and five dollars for that app. Oh, the app. Yeah, I'd probably pay like thirty bucks for the stick. 
the, like if I ever can just like jam it into my phone. Anyway, we had a Vic versus Australia. Josh versus just Australia these days. Now we got an in-house SA in-region matchup. I'm growing classic. Catherine versus Tish Lord. I don't know how this usually goes. I assume Kath wins. Kath is a pretty successful player mm. at locals and the like. Princess Peach, Tish Lord on the Dr. Mario, one of the Doc reps in Australia. Very few and far between, but very powerful. Yeah. I was playing Tish Lord yesterday. He's looking pretty clean, man. Hard to beat on FD. Speaking of clean, oh, yeah, I actually didn't mean to do that if you saw his face. <laughs> Uh, Catherine's a bit of a quiet achiever as far as Australian melee yeah, goes. Absolutely. She, she kinda shows up to every local and does her thing and every major she's kind of maybe getting a win or two. Nothing. No one, yeah, no one wants to run into her. Everyone's like, ooh, would like to dodge Catherine. Mm, yeah, I can't remember any like huge, huge wins she's gotten, but definitely like, you know, uh, a seat or two above, you know, an upset yeah, or two here yeah. and there. And she's always a dangerous player. I think last big cheese she beat um, XP. There you go, XP two K from Queensland, yeah. She Good was win. the winner of the Smash Sisters bracket at um, like one of the BAMs. There you oh, go. There you go. Back yeah. when we did Smash Sisters at BAM. It was uh, like a few years now. Yeah, it would have been. It would have been. I think I remember. Yeah, that was the one that Professor Pro was at. Ah, one of yeah, the last. One of the last great BAMs. Yeah, you might so say. So true. Um, but yeah, Tish Lord. He's looking strong here. Uh, I would say one of the two notable Dr. Mario reps in uh, Australia, alongside, yeah. of course, Yetta 64. Yetta 64. Um, Yetta, though, not a Doc loyalist in the way yeah. Tish Lord is. I don't think I've seen Tish Lord play many other characters. <laughs> yeah. Whereas Yetta was playing Falco, Mario earlier, stuff like that. Yetta. That, that was with the Marios. Tish Lord, though, he's going to be on Dr. Mario. See, Yetta took a game off Dekka, and then game three went Mario. He took a game with Doc and then switched to Mario? Yeah, and I think Why game one was Mario as well, and then he switched to Doc one. What? Yetta is an enigma. Yetta is such an enigma it's, of a person. He's so much smarter than all of us. He really... I, like, people think, like, this guy's look goofy, this, this guy looks dumb as hell. Well, Yetta is an intelligent person. Crazy platform movement. It you was know, a stitch I just base. found out, like, yesterday, or like, a week ago, that Mario has one less frame of jump spot than Dr. Mario. And Luigi has the same jump spot as uh, Dr. Mario as well. Wait, Mario's got five? No, no, uh, Dr. Mario and Luigi have five, but Mario has four. Oh, Mario's got one less. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, interesting. So he's a bit quicker on like the aerial game, which is funny because like you don't think about that when you play Dr. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mario. That's what, what Yetta was thinking. He's like, I need an extra frame yeah. against this mask. Okay. That's actually crazy. <laughs> Mario after beating him. <laughs> what a... Yeah. There's some kind of scheme. There's always a scheme with Yetta. Anyway. Yeah. Kath up in this game. Right. Uh oh, high up there. I was gonna say back air is kind of the the Mario killer as far yeah. as Peach is concerned. I remember I, many years ago I watched a training session of Amada talking about this matchup, how to beat the Mario's, and he was like, "Back air is your best friend." Yeah, they can't really beat back air. That's how he said it. Goes for uh, the other plumbers too. <laughs> yeah, all the plumbers lose to Peach back air. She put the hips on him. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of the top tiers have a move that the plumbers just cannot beat. Yeah, everyone's got one. Fal Falcon Nair. Captain is up Falcon's there. got about 20. <laughs> yeah, he's got all, all the, any aerial, basically. Um, you know, Fox back air. Insanely back hard air. for plumbers to beat. Top three move in the game. Absolutely. This is going to be crazy clutch if Tish can pull this off. Because, like, the second forward throw starts putting in work. I yeah. was going to say. You he, can't can't be on the ground. He gets snuck under. He needs Catherine to pull a stitch for him. Yeah, that's to, the, to send it back. <laughs> that's the situation. That's the win con. This matchup's so deceiving because it feels like you can put the herd on Peach. And then you're in game and it's like, wait a minute. Why yeah. can't I? Why can't she be struck? How do I strike her? I... I can't say I've thought about this matchup really at all, but FD seems like an interesting pick. I kind of don't mind it. FD is like if you want to play for time as Doc. Yeah. I kind of don't really agree. I would say you want side plats because you get better combo extensions with other. Yeah. But like if you're really committed to like and you're confident in your pill timing, you can make this stage work. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it can work, but Tishlord sort of might have to adjust the thing or two about the way he's playing. Yeah, this gets it back here. Yeah. Mm, Could have forwarded off that, wouldn't have killed though. Yeah, turnips aren't as oppressive as they are in maybe some other matchups. Yeah, you can send it back. They're still quite good. Yeah. Just anything to, to restrict Doc. It's a big commitment to have to keep a turnip, and you know, it's not. Exactly right. Like, is that a. I think I saw a funny face. No, 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 no. That's not a funny face. I don't see a funny face. It's one of the unfunny ones. Damn. She just did run up down smash and it worked. She, Kath is like a very traditional peach, like. 
Ooh. You know, down smash in weird spots, bully with aerials. Like, yeah. whereas McLeod is like ultra modern by comparison. Yeah. McLeod's on that new school. Yeah, McLeod's on that new school grounded Peach, whereas Kath is, is hitting Nair, and you're like, damn, that Nair really do be hitting okay. This is it. The back has yeah, a little, a little too angle. high. Uh, and yeah, Kath knew it. She actually dodged it. The, the second one there. The okay. Third. F smash again. Slot. Putting the hurt on her this stock. If you can get a clean down throw, you can take it. I do like that reflect there. Just, just uh, create a bit yeah. of space. Do you get a forward air here? You do. He goes to turn around. That's not easy. Yeah. Getting the turn around on Peach. Tough. So but, he um, does take a lead. Let's hope he holds on to it for his sake. Main doc. You have to be hitting those 10 out of 10 times. Yeah, you really do. It's one thing you want to lab, it's down throw for whatever. It's killing off a or body throw. throw. Oh, this is easily Tish's play. This play one's Tish, funny. This is one's funny. Is a funny face? Oh, it, it's, it's, it's the funniest face. <laughs> Catherine has to play the mini game of throwing it between the capes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait, should I drop it here? Uh, she dropped it on RNG, so yeah. it doesn't have the hit it doesn't have the hitbox. Yeah. That's so crazy that. She can just lose it. Mm, she can she has to use it or lose it. Yeah. So no more funny face. Very good for young Tish Lord. Very sincere turnups from here on out. Yeah, let's hope so. Honest turnups only. If yeah. such a thing exists. Oh yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. But yeah, this is uh, a Tish hunting for a dash deck forward at potential. This is a, a, a meaty percentage for Catherine to be at the Tish Lord right now. This is all my. Uh, no, not quite. One more though. Absolutely. She tries to force a forward air. Eats the uh, hip. Captain. Ooh, that was scary. I feel like Cap really should have yeah, grabbed ledge. I was getting nervous for her for a second. But too, too far anyway. Whoa. Quick dash attack forward smash again. She waited again. Down smash I mean. Oh no. no! That's worst case scenario, dude. That was a no losing the lead, losing the lead against Princess Peach off your own your own F up. Your own freaking F up. Oh, she's looking for it. Yeah, now Cap can kind of just four situations in the corner. There's out. Just kind of recover high and... Yeah, getting center is like so easy on recovery. Doc cannot go very high with anything scary. Oh man, I can't believe this game ran away from Tish Lord like this. He's really got a... No jump to 80. Now you're at 80, Tish Lord. I like the wave dash back and forth though. He's trying to force that down smash. I don't know what the... the... Oh, that might be it. I don't know what the... Uh plan of attack should have been, but I feel like that was not it. Yeah. Un very unfortunate. Could have had a, a real banger of a game three if things went a little different. Mm. But uh, Catherine moves on in the round robin pools. Moving big on. round robin pools, these, these uh, big cheese. Quietly achieving, yeah, like eight people. Eight people pool. per pool, four pools per wave, two yeah. waves. A lot of gameplay, which we love. We yeah. love a lot of gameplay. Love that. Love gameplay. We I love, love the big cheese. This is truly become like the event of the year for Melee. I've been to every single one. I've never missed one either. It's, and I, I will go to every single one. It's ebon as hell. Uh, for as long as they exist. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. Adelaide's a great city as well. We got the, the homies is this, is coming this up though. Tid from Tish Lord to Tid Lord? No, this is Snurt Lord, right? <laughs> Tid casually walking in front of a projector. Mm, I, I also had to do the, uh, the thing in my head where I was trying to remember which one of them it was. Who? This is Snurt. That's Tid, that's Tid, man. That is not Tid. That's Tid, the Samus player. That's... That is Snurt. KP Kaiser, that is Wait, Tid. Wait, no. Oh, I had them... <laughs> when I was talking to Snurt yesterday, I thought he was Tid, and so that's why... That's, uh, you're a, that's Snurt, man. Yeah, yeah, Snurt no, you're, so right. that's you're so right. You're so right. You're a crazy skip as SB. No, I knew the face, but I just... I, Oh, you should have believed me immediately. Now you look like quite the fool. No, look, that's fine, because I say what we're all thinking. The, 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 the Tid is Snurt. That they're the same guy. Yeah, Tid, Snurt, but but but. Do they? I think they live together. Uh, something like that. They're homies. Yeah. They're both from Sydney. So Tid, for those who don't know, Sydney To, and uh, I would say second best Samus player in the country, right behind Ruben Nangs. Mm -hmm. Very strong. Defeated Emps at Floating Point recently. Yeah. So he's uh, got dubs under his belt, looking to seal a couple more. Not sure who his opponent is. Perhaps they're in the box. I've seen him standing several times this week. He weekend. does stand up when he plays now. Really? Yeah, yeah. He's a he's a for hard sets he'll stand up. For hard sets. Yeah, for sets that he's he's got to win at all costs. Is that like a hungry box situation? Like a kind of get so. the yeah, yeah. get the blood flowing. Oh, is this is this Goody SSB premier best in Victoria player right now? Best in Victoria. Fox. You know. 
Fox Prodigy. A threat to take any given tournament. Yeah, threat to take the tournament. Recently reset Josh Man at a local, Josh Man's Marth. Mm. Josh Man's Marth, though, world class Marth. Yeah. Marth. Defeating Sunse. Yeah, Marth, Scott wins, yeah. So if you want to know how good Goody is, he's about as good as Josh Man's Marth, ideally. Mm. Josh Man's Marth is uh, really good, so. Goody, though. I thought Goody was going to stand up. He's well. feeling a little rough this weekend. He's a little rough around the edges. Yeah, every time I look at him, it looks like he just got out of bed. Yeah, he's, he's got the little cat ears on. But you know what? Is that just his hair? No, he does have cat ears. Goody is, is the, he's, he's got this weird thing where like the gameplay, for some reason, just bounces back out of nowhere. Mm. He it, plays so much. He's got that muscle memory to a T that he can just pull it out even yeah. when he's hurled over. He has such a... Barfing in a cup. There's so many responses to so many situations that just like it's so hard for it to go wrong. If yeah, he's like pressing it, buttons it, it really in like feels a like reasonable that. fashion, you know. He's so difficult to crack in a scramble, and they're right underway. Yoshi's story is the first stage, kind of a weird. I don't know what the Samus players are doing. Now, now think of this what you will, but several of Goody's a few rank losses to uh, Samus's uh, on that play. So. Yeah, online losses to Samus. Yeah. I mean, if, if there's ever a matchup to... No way, he's dead. That's actually crazy that he hit confirm that. If there's ever a matchup to do in a, a hungover, sad Fox player, this one. it's Samus. But uh, like I said, Goody's a gameplay savant. He can bounce back, and I think he will. Gets net out of his combo, though. Kind of uh, gives himself a weird little shrug, back scratch. Oh, he's... Going to the jump? Oh, thank God. <laughs> that, that didn't kill? Thank God. <laughs> Samus is heavy, man. That would have killed half the cast. Yeah, I know. I, I would have been dead. <laughs> oh, man. Straight up. She think, uh, ooh, what a charge shot. I don't know who's... <laughs> Put a one in the chat if you got hit by that charge <laughs> shot. I want to see nothing but Go on to the right side. Yeah. <laughs> what, is, what does this shirt say? Turn off. Tune, Tune out. out. Drop, drop in. in. Oh, shit. Is that like a skateboarding thing? Yeah, maybe. He looks like the kind of guy. I gotta ask him. He's got like fresh yeah, sneakers on as well. Tick got the fit though. Those yeah. pants look clean as hell. His uh, his clothes aren't giving skater vibes. No, but I don't know. I, I don't know what. Uh, drop it. Maybe he wants his friends to come over. True, man. He's, he's saying like my door's always open to the homies. Yeah, like sign up. But only if I'm tuned out. Yeah, if you're if you're a lane. If I'm tuned in, do not knock. Yeah. No one's home. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is a uh, very close champ. Yeah, this Ooh. game's close so far. Yep. Goody with a staunch lead for now. Oh, he holds on to it. He had to know that Goody couldn't get the ledge from where he upbeat. Really? I think so. He like it was like be below the ledge that straight wouldn't have gotten it, but I don't think there's a possible angle. Oh damn. You got that cognizant recognition there, man. I got that object permanence. What are these uppies out of shield? Are these intentional or are these like shine out of shields that he's just like snap back? Free, free bowling. Yeah. yeah, spot dodges the grab. Potential on reaction. Good as a young man. Kind of putting the gap on Tid right now. Tid the Samus. Tid the Samus just jabbing. Captain Tid. Yeah, gets the kind of perfect launcher there. That's the kind of launcher you want to you want to get from our Samus's up B. Unless they oh. SDI out. Goes for jab instead of just ripping the down smash on the uh, tech situation. Interesting to up tilt there. Yeah, kind of weird. It's a pretty easy CC. Okay. Ooh, oh no. Ooh. Dips and dives. Gave him a haircut. Pretty dodgeball, no way. Come that's man. a goodie special. Yeah. I feel like that's like Goody and Sock My Son are the kind of foxes that do that combo. Yeah. And it just kills. It do be killing. You die off that and you feel shit. God knows if Goody banned anything. Probably Dreamland. But this is this is the Samus stage. <laughs> he put a little butter on that one. Oh yeah. Oh, speaking oh of which, cooking up. 86. So take me out back. Tune out. Uh -oh. Come to the barbecue. It's roasted goodie. <laughs> Whoa. The knockdown, pretty huge. All right, mashes his own air out this time. Wow. <laughs> the missile didn't even hit his shield. Yeah. What? Fox is a small lad. Tiny boy. Oh my, uh, CC again. Takes it. Didn't not, get the not, strong. Yeah, no strong hits. Nice. Covered a lot of space with all of those uh, edge guard options. It's so weird that Samus just has the strongest backer in the game. Is that true? Pretty sure, yeah. Cool. This guy's strong. He lost his grapple, though. Yeah, remember in like 2016 or whatever when like up throw back air was a new thing? 
Yeah, that, that duck stuff. Yeah. Dude! Shout out to duck stuff. Yeah. I miss that guy. Come back. Okay, I feel fine. like Goody is really just like putting my man in a box in the corner and being like, you don't get to play because I'm holding down. Yeah. And that's kind of the Samus, the anti Samus wave. Tell me what you can do. Oh my Ooh, what? No trade. The Nair strong hit, it looked like. Oh, yeah, it was like, like a weird like, late strong hit. Oh, great that conversion. Was awesome. That was really good. Oh no, you gotta. Okay. You gotta you just have to finish. I feel like you could have grabbed ledge, yeah. but it's hard to know. No widescreen allowed, folks. If you play widescreen at home on this stage, you're a cheater. Cheating. It's like a uh, uninstall. I don't know about Yoshi's, but maybe. But uh, no, nah, this this stage is like particularly the camera yeah, is, is like the, big the big difference for right. widescreen. If you're in the magnifying glass, you're gonna get back. Yeah, on yobbies, always. On fobbies though? Tid trying to fight. Fight for his life. I reckon uh, okay. if you're a Samus player and you're seated to make it out, you've got pretty good odds. Yeah, no. But uh, when your top seed is the young Goodman, chances are you're not making it out first seed. Great uh, A. He did, he did the, uh, the wall jump mix up. I like that. It's a down smash for his trouble. I think he's landed. Yeah. No, he didn't land. Didn't get his juice back. Goody cleans up the set. Damn. Mission complete. Goody gets it done. Mission complete. Oh, and he is lethargic. We all love Goody, by the way. Mm -hmm. He's kind of like <clears> Vic's <throat> son. We raised all, him. All of our collective But we didn't son. raise him intentionally wrong like Huey. Yeah, We Huey. raised him intentionally correct because it was kind of... We already done the Huey thing. Yeah, we already have a Huey. Yeah. Um, who we love. We do love Huey. But two we, Hueys. we love all the young men. I don't know. That's kind of a problem. RNG cheated. Confirm. RNG plays widescreen. Oh, yeah, I got, you got right. chat over there, bro? I'm, I'm hitting up the chat. Go Goody. Go Goody says Yosh. Is that Yosh Z or is that the other Yosh? Presumably Yosh Z is, is a... Is Yosh Hearthstone? What is what that? Is Benji beat Mason. Ooh, upsets? If you know any hot upsets that we don't, tell us and we'll talk about it. Record. Benji's a Falco, bro I think. Bro looks like he let the Archangels take his... This... Take his this morning. Take his soul? Are you talking about Goody? Are you talking about us? The Archangel takes nothing from me. What the hell? What the hell, man? Jay Jeff, you fucked up by, <laughs> by mistyping. Now we're roasting you. Get roasted, bitch. Jay Jeff, aren't you from Adelaide? Yeah. Where are you? What the hell? He's in the venue. No, he's not. The call is coming from inside yeah, the house. Adelaide's a big place, man. These guys might live in, uh, bo you know, Big Bonia. You know, yesterday, uh, funny story, I came across a, like, a payphone, but they're just free. Most of them are free now. Yeah, I, I didn't know this, but you can just use a payphone. There's one near my house. It's outside the post office. It says, free calls for Australia, question mark? Yep. Yep. Telstra. That's the question that I would have had. So if it. you need to use a phone and you, you know, because nobody, ha nobody has change anyway. Pa yeah, payphones are good. I, so call, like, I called my own phone and it worked. And then going it, they like all phones. have a number so you can call the specific pay So I called it back. And then the payphone started ringing. And then we there picked it go. up and it was yeah. like, hey, it just works. So Yeah, they work, man. So you can like send it's someone be like, you know. Pretty base that people stop using change and instead of installing a million credit card readers, they're just like, he's free. Mm -hmm. it's free. Yeah, you can send someone to a payphone and be like, be at this phone at like 1 p.m. It's going to ring. That's untraceable. And I'll give you your next instructions. All right, we have Mason and McLeod up next. Speaking of which, something. Speaking of something, we got... Another SA special. Quick, Jordy, Ice Climbers or Zelda? Who's he going to play? He's going to play Ice Climbers, man. If you play Zelda, maybe game two. I just so hope we got Mason's heart is in this one. Ooh. We're praying for a Mason heart esque run. Nine, so Even though, according to the chat, he's already lost to Benji, which is an upset. Oh, Benji beat Mason? That's kind reportedly. Of crazy. Reportedly. According to, to uh, someone in the chat. Looks like they're just playing. So I think they're. Off it's to good. the races. This is a classic grand finals these days at uh, EVAC, from what I've seen. Mason, you might know him as Grim Tuesday back in the day. Very old school Ice Climbers player. Was a wobbler once upon a time, you know, if he doesn't mind me saying. But now he's a skilled, handoff, technical Ice Climber. And uh, he's got to play potentially the one guy in the venue he has very little chance of beating. <laughs> the, the best Princess Peach in the country, McLeod. On the frame one. Frame one light. Frame one. Okay. The box peach. Nice. Very strong. Yeah, doesn't get to Nana in time for the up B. And now Nana being bullied. That's crazy that the cloud knows to not reverse. Like, that nail looked like it was going to reverse. Mm. 
McLeod McLeod the knew. drift on lock. Yeah, McLeod, you know, how can you not have the drift on lock when you're this practiced? McLeod is the most grindiest of grinders who ever grinded out this game in Australia. It's so awesome. I play McLeod maybe like once every like four to six months or whatever, and we have like a barn burner like 90 minute session. Yeah. And he's like, dude, that was awesome. We gotta play so much more at the end of the game. He always and then says he that. never does. <laughs> That's to me as well. He's like, you got way better, man. Yeah. Thanks, man. It is sweet to play him though. He's, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's a very kind melee soul. He's a guy that looks at the screen. And that's uh, a rarity these days. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, don't know what that means. He could be looking at the screen though. He he looks at the game and he responds accordingly. Ah, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. Oh, he goes for the minimum amount of, uh, the maximum amount of wobbles into the handoff. Gets the RNG off Nana Forward throw. But McLeod mashing out. Is the, um, like a typist. Is the version of Melee we play in tournament, is that the one where they've hard-coded, uh... I actually don't know if this is like hard-coded no wobbling or if it's just the rule is the rule. Yeah. Like, did you accidentally uh, do? We do have the proper code set, oh, well, so nice. Mason has practiced the correct amount of pummels. There you go. Sweet. I think it's like four. Yeah, I believe so. So he's always going to be hitting the maximum amount of warps before he's allowed to, uh, you know, before he's disallowed. This is, uh, I, uh -oh. I looked away. Why is this two stocks to two? Funny face. Dude, uh, but, you know, Mason hits some <laughs> bomb ass forward smash. Oh, he's got it. He picks it up. Old school great. Oh my. And he hits and he's it. got it. Another one's gonna, this you know, you gotta DI the okay. next one. Okay. He's still got something out of it. He's, he's fighting. This Popo is getting crazy he's with doing it. it. Oh, he, I think he jumped. Yeah, he's got a side B. The back air always minimum trades there with pretty lenient timing. You know, you know who's beast at killing uh, Peach with Popo? It's Chudat. Chudat is the best Sopo who ever damn did it. He uh, he was catching Armada with down throw up smash. Yeah, that's fake though. I remember yeah. Chudat analyzed that set on stream and he was like, this is fake, but I had to do it or else I would have lost. But, yeah, like, but do you think he, he, hit him, he hit him with a lot. He did do it quite a bit. Do you think McLeod knows? The DI? Almost certainly. These guys play a lot. Oh, uh, yeah. And like on a, you know... On box man, you're hitting the DI yeah. if, if you know to hit it. This is really tough now. Like Sopo past 100, like fourth throw is going to set up for a nasty edge guard. Yeah, uh, catches the slide off. All right, all right. That's for the kill. For the big kill. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah. Ready. Alright, FD, the counter pick of choice. I'm surprised McLeod didn't ban FD. I feel like this is Ice Climber's uh, only stage yeah, yeah, yeah. where they can really do anything, especially in this matchup. So we've got to see what McLeod's got. Yeah, I wonder what the ban was for... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe uh, Mason does particularly well on, like, Yobbies or something. Yeah. All I know is that you as, as the climbers, knows. you really got to dodge uh, Dreamland. Yeah. According to to Chudat, speaking of Chudat, he always says like, "Yeah, Dreamland is like unwinnable. Mm. She can just get away so fast. Yeah, can just kind of tank the side B. Okay, this is good. Something here. Okay, interesting. Comes out, yeah, coming out with Blizzard, kind of a weird option, but it's out for so long. Lives that. Correct the eye. Dude, Mason's moving. Oh my. And McLeod's kind of trying to force the issue. Yeah, yeah. A little bit too close to the sun. This McLeod's time, though, I think she's just... Yeah, she's just going to nair. Reverse nair? I don't know a, a single move that beats Peter's reverse nair. <laughs> There's got to be a few. Like, mark, but... Yeah. Like, man, that is that is some big stuff. Big split up here. Yeah, the huge split. A lot of damage on Nana. That bait though, McLeod whiffed a back air to like, to bait Mason into doing a move and then just smacks Nana up. For the kill, oh god, brutal stock. You got a side B again, does sneak past this time. If McLeod's sleeping at the wheel, mashes out an up smash. Mason's defense is really impressive, I gotta say. Like he's rolling in, in really clutch spots, but I mean against Peach it's like, she covers rolls so well and ultimately you're just putting yourself back in a mix up situation. Oh my. There it is. Finds the up smash. Caught, uh, caught the hand on the turn of throw. Nice stuff. Oh, Nana. 
getting some damage. Shield's not looking too good. A big down smash is... Oh, it doesn't go for Nana. Yeah, she didn't, uh, yeah, she didn't recognize. Maybe she thought uh, Nana had a uh, bum the jump. It did look a little bit like she jumped before before uh, yeah. she got hit. Still oh my god, juicy just percent. <laughs> the Peach Multi Shine just there a bunch. <laughs> Mason dips low. The belay gets it done. But, ah, but no, big forward air. Seals Nana away. Okay, oh, wait oh, a no. minute. She dips too low. That's Mason Pack, man. There's a I, big grin on his face for that one. That that was the most confusing edgeguard I've seen, I think. Oh, the damage? Smash Riling up? Three smash attacks in a row? Yeah, wait it out. Really nice yeah, delay, but slightly yeah. too low to sneak on stage. It's so rough when you hit the edge of the stages, Ice Climbers. Yeah. It just looks like you should make it back on. Oh, there's a funny face. The second of the funniest faces. Nana picks it up, though. She, she lost back. it at some point. Okay, big dammy. Yeah, we love that. That's juice to the double forward smash. And the Cloud's getting a lot of value off these, like, drift back, like, forward air as much as recovery. Yeah, I mean, it really is hard to deal with the climbers. They have to commit, and when you try to commit, you get Ned. And I reckon that's it. I reckon Mason knows it. The Cloud. Yeah. Ooh. Locked in. She's so locked in. Mm. Even when the set was over, she it took, was her like, a, took her a minute to snap again. back to reality. Again. Yeah. Next game. So used to three-hour friendly sessions. <laughs> three-hour grand finals. Yeah. <laughs> it's very rare for like, these oh. two to be playing at best of the three, I think. Swag. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love some McLeod action. So for those who don't know, McLeod's in the running to uh, potentially top three this event. She's been putting in work. Oh, yeah. Strong player. Usually uh, the Goody McLeod rivalry is kind of the current storyline. You got anything to... That's I think is sweating. Anything to add? He's eating a oh, gummy worm. Sports? Football. Oh, the boys are chucking and sharing around the back. Dude, that, that gummy worm looks so awesome. My man has got a Gatorade that, that and gummy a gummy worm. worm. looks so awesome. The Killer Python. Such a classic. I would like I, to. I've seen a worm that big once. Maybe they're like they brand did. dependent. I think you used to be smaller. You were always huge. Yeah, maybe that's, that's probably what they were like. Uh, I think the, the gummy snakes probably were bigger back then, man. You know, they're trying to cut costs. Inflation. They've got to inflate the snakes. Yep. Make, them, make them bigger. Hashtag inflate the snakes. <laughs> like Shrek. <laughs> Makes a little balloon out of balloon animal. That's yeah. funny. Check out Shrek. Yeah, if you got the chance. Uh, movie of the summer. Yep. Who's up next, man? Who's on stream next? We just saw uh, McLeod vs. Mason. It was a bit of a smack up, but that's Peach Ice. He's uh, Mason put up a fight. Brutal, yeah. No, but uh, uh, that's the one match I Syndicus versus Josh was actually really entertaining. Syndicus was playing very cool and confident. Yeah, the confidence from from Sindo was was very best. No I'm one is out. walking up. Josh is playing Fox. Yeah. Oh, we got McDoog again. Oh shit! Against the young, another Chibay? young Victorian star, Chibe the Moth. Up and come up. In the beanie, you'll see him. This is his first uh, tournament out of state, I believe. Is that right? He's a young man. He doesn't travel very often. He doesn't have the means to, but he's here. No Phantom, no... I don't, I don't Phantom. believe so, no. I don't believe he was at Phantom. Well, he looks excited to be here. I hope he is, man. I hope he is. He, he's a grinder. He's been trying to put in work. But uh, kind of, I feel like in the last month or so, maybe struggling to find his footing in tournaments. Yeah. But uh, that's maybe because he's got new ideas ruminating. Mm, new concepts. You know, two steps forward, one step back, you know? Yeah, yeah, and for Chibe, I think that's a good way to think about it because for a while he was very much in the in the dash dance, in the corner, yeah. down to down to it kind of wave. Yeah. But that only gets you so far. The, the way you kind of get better is you can't rest on your laurels. You can't just do the thing you were doing, but slightly better. Uh -oh. Listen. Like, I changed the pools to, like, deal with the XP tiered snurt pool like oh, no. four times over and it still ran that way. Yeah, XP was telling me. I don't know. You know, I'm right here, but um, that's, yeah. well, I that's think annoying. Like, I've been communicating with people about it and like, yeah. Yeah, fair. I'm sure it was just like a, yeah, you know, that's a classic match. Too many moving They're parts. getting into it. Here we go. Chibi looking clean so far on the tech chase. Ooh, drops that one. He almost had it. 
He's moving so far though. I kind of, I kind of like the uh, the dashes, walling him out. Speaking of walls, McLeod on one. Swift punish. I've said it once, uh, I'll say it a million times. The sign of a good moth is how good they are versus floaties. Ah, true. And uh, Chibe, no slouch. It's kind of hard to know. Victoria doesn't have a lot of, you know, a lot of Peach players or like you know any Samuses really. So it's. It's tough to know how good, how proficient Chibe is, but look at the lead here up against He's McLeod, game one. Moving so hard right now. Yeah, look, I mean, Chibe's got nothing to lose, right? Like, I mean, DI's away, but I can make it back. Not anymore. Usually so, in any given kind of matchup, my eyes are drawn to McLeod, but no, I can't stop all, looking all, at Chibe right all, now. All eyes on Chibe for this one. I love that down, it gets the knockdown. And yeah, just like force McLeod into the corner, like, uh, get her to take away. Yeah. And then play the corner situation. It's a good way to think, right? Yep, okay. Wow. Ooh, big tipper. She dies. How did Chibe find the kill there? The down air to set up the tech situation, and then the cognizance to just quickly drop through, knowing that a tipper was just free at that point. Maybe he hella studied for this matchup, like, well in advance. There's off the ledge, gets the grab. Ooh, what a... Gets the re-grab, dude. That's, that's recognition. Okay. Another tech situation. Yeah, covers covers quite a bit with that uh, option Escapes. coverage. Escape the uh, Chibis, counter hit down smash. Chibis is a man on a mission. Uh, power shield down smash. The cloud smash. Ooh. Oh, the cloud misspacing that uh, that turn up down throw. It could have sealed Chip's fate. Pivot F smash. Seventy nine. Not gonna. Yeah, not gonna quite kill. But that's good damage. It's positioning damage. The cloud's got to find the ground. She does. One more of those will uh, seal her fate though. Let's just roll. It was a good idea, but McLeod ready as always. Once you got, you got to push the lead here a little, Chib. You can't force the issue. Running in, getting counter hits. And McLeod's suddenly the one moving, right? Yeah. This is rough for Chib. I feel like, I hope the uh, do or die is not setting in for Chibe. It's all do, never die. That could be big. The clouds are a pretty gun at edge guarding Moth. There so you go. Quick. She grabs a ledge quick insta. On the ledge okay. Chibe. Oh. It's a tail as old as time, isn't it, Jordy? Going up. And you go up against the top player, and suddenly the game slips away from your fingertips like a, like a bag of sand. Another pivot F smash, not quite too high percent. I feel like wave dash forward up tilt might get you there. Think about that one, Chibe. Oh no, he gets hit off the ledge. Damn, D the DIY was that away? Yeah. That's crazy. Oh my god. That's just uh I think it was at 60. That one stock of McLeod just it lasted forever. Yeah, it really just did not end. It was like a damn truck. And FD, the counter pick of choice for the young Marth player. I think that Marth is uh doesn't have a good uh throw animation. For turnips, yeah. yeah. Even if you grab a turnip, you're kind of stuck with it. You, most masters just Z-drop it, I feel. Mm. The good ones, like Zayn. Yeah. You can, you can, like, full hop Z-drop and then, like, yeah. try to move forward a little. Yeah. You know, if you really have to have a plan for it, yeah. you just throw it away. Oh, uh, snipes the roll again. She's on it. Grabs the ledge, yep. So quick with it. Yeah. I mean, it's tough, right? Because even if you sneak on stage as Moth, like, could you get up? Into like Nair or Down Smash is so killer and McLeod juggling. I truly believe that like Circus Act, great power shield. Any player will like be significantly better if they practice just grabbing the ledge for like 10 minutes a day. Oh yeah, grab like wave dash back fast fall is like such a skill. Yeah. Or just like from a dash or anything, like just get from wherever you are, just practice getting to the ledge. Wave dash back fast fall. So many players either don't go for it because they're not confident or they just like miss it. Or they just they just kind of don't have it as a part of their flow chart. Yeah. Wow, really, that's that's such an underrated thing that Cloud did there is just like instead of immediately punishing with Nair, move under to trick the DI. Mm. Like just side swap the DI because you know that one Nair is going to send further away on bad DI from from the right side to the left even. Yeah. Another pivot F smash. Not enough though. I mean, like once the lead runs away from you from Peach, like even even good matchups like this are super tough for Mark. Getting nothing off the throws. You got six minutes, Chibe. Don't be afraid to use them. That's what I say. If you're down against Marth, against uh, Peach, yeah, and, yeah, the DI away, expecting a weak hit. And we got a four stock locked and loaded from McLeod. 
Full eyes on the lady in the, the white dress at the moment. Yeah, she's really stolen the show. We said all eyes on Chiba earlier. Oh, and, no. Uh, she might have hurt us because it's definitely all eyes back on the... Cloud Muff. Chiba's got a bit of a smile on his face. It's gone yeah, now. But, I mean, uh, you know, from here, you kind of know the set's over. This is such a don't want to get four stocks. Oh, that was so cool. Yeah, the Z drop. Yeah, like the grab ledge, and in the meantime, doing the Z drop, just like covering so much. Really good stuff. Very clean. First off, uh, four Portio Chiba's on stream. Chiba's just going to... He got to, he's got to enter the avatar state not only in the first two stocks of the set. Yeah, my God. He was Came playing out so swinging. well, yeah. Ran out of gas. <laughs> he has the legs twice the length of a normal man. He can Yeah, he can work. step over mountains. <laughs> I mean, that's the other side. That's... <laughs> It is pretty far. We got uh So now we got Josh Man walking up against Catherine. I, I got a bad feeling about this one, buddy. I this gotta is admit. this is a matchup that you really gotta be better than Josh to beat him in this matchup. Josh kinda beats the best peaches in the world. Yeah. Beats uh beats a lot, grinds with Wally a lot, from what I've seen. There was a time where this was Josh Man's weakest matchup. Yeah, back when RJ was around. RJ used to even when Josh was like solely better than RJ, RJ would get him. Josh loves to learn. Yeah. He but, did uh, indeed learn. <laughs> I think for, for the type of peach that Cav plays, I just don't see it. Mm. Like, you got to be Giga... Excuse me. you got to be Giga Modern to kind of contest Josh Man and not not eat, like, 40 lasers. And then yeah. suddenly you're an up smash percent out of nowhere. Yeah. We'll see how, how hard of a fight Cav puts up, though. Yeah, it goes for Jack Grab. Jack Grab Josh Man gonna... cleanly flopping around it. And yeah, backhanding out of the downer as well. Like, it's just... So far, we've seen two situations that Josh Man has played much better and Cat there dodges all. No bueno. No bueno indeed. Ledge Sitch. See, Cat... Cat can, like, hit him, but, like, it doesn't lead anywhere. It's just, like, a couple strong nares. Great CC grab. Just imagine Cat proves me wrong. He just starts no going jump. crazy hamburgers up air. Oh. Yeah. My god. Very clean stuff. Very little SDI from Cap, unfortunately. Sledge on the weak air as well. It's just got to work so hard if you're Catherine. Oh, there you go. Great uh, potential reaction, if you can imagine it. Oh, yeah. dodge. Eats a down smash for his troubles. Okay. Great knockdown, but man, Josh sliding off from, from the other side of the world. Yeah. God. Great shorty. Whoa, <laughs> it's the craziest butt grab. Nice. Dude, Cap is fighting. Look at this. Okay. Uh, Josh is Catherine. smiling. He's like, wait a minute. I wasn't expecting this. Catherine might be the best in the country at the butt grab. <laughs> <laughs> Honest to God. <laughs> she's so good. She's she's in the lead. <laughs> and the crowd's gone wild. Forget the everything. Hometown hero Catherine. Catherine's just got it like that. She drifts back to dodge the shine. She's playing really good. Oh, yeah, roast, yeah. And then up there, yeah. Up yeah. There. That's some new school stuff. That is, my god. You just roast her off stage. And then once she's marinated, she has to DI. No, oh. man, that was off tragic. You can imagine. Cat well, just play, plays like she did back then for another two clean games. There was a there was a moment there where we all believed. I believed. I'm a believer. It's just me I'm going to ban here. <laughs> Alright, probably Ben Ford. Or maybe FD. FD, surely. Oh, I've never really seen Kath chain grab. I'm sure she can. Yeah, absolutely. Great DI on the down tilt. Just not even messing with the platform there. No, no need. Too shrisky. Dodges up smash. Josh Man is really forcing the issue. It kind of feels like this is the sort of set where he can. Yeah. Afford to just bulldog a little. And even if he loses two stocks, like, whatever. He's got cleaner kill confirms. He's on a, he's on a speed run. <laughs> he's wow. not trying to SDI down. camp out the peach. Nah, yeah, there's no need, I feel. Spend an extra minute in game. Or he can just run her down like a dog. So he down tilt. And yeah, DI mix up. Yeah, mix up. This looks like a runaway game for the, uh, what's he ranked these days? 20th? 15th? 15th? 14th, even. Oh, 14th? Sheesh. Pardon me. Zuppy's 15th. Ah, young Much Zuppy. to his chagrin. He is? Yeah, he's 
He's not grinning about that, I'll tell you that much. Wow. <laughs> he catches Catherine mashing out a couple times in a row there. Yeah. What you got, Cat? You're gonna dodge his force dog? Run up, grab. What? Wow. wow. I feel like there's a way to do that to cover that. Yeah. Even though Josh probably would have taken the ledge. Uh, Real shine. Tech skill two, as they say. She can make it back here. Tournament winner though, not clean. Oh, I thought some kind of laser land up smash was happening. <laughs> I think even if she rolled. Oh. Hey, no four stock. Yes! Yippee! Uh oh. Gosh, man. Playing with his food. Whoa! <laughs> the RNG turn up drop. Uh oh, okay. Imagine, Ma. I feel like anything at this point. God. <laughs> this is so silly. And Josh is smiling about it as well. The player cam. So I think one more back here is going to seal it. Oh! <laughs> Clean by Cam to beat the, the troll up there. He's doing it again. No, he's. Oh. Just going to fourth wow. out. Ooh, the, the big notch ang. Oh, come on, Josh. Yeah, you, you don't deserve this. We, we got him, man. You beat her real good. <laughs> No, she does it too early or too late. <laughs> Come on. You, you got her, man. <laughs> Great condition to get that jab out. Four right, kills, that was pretty though. funny. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Like... All right, that was pretty funny. Yeah, that was gone. cute. All right, that was cute. Oh, my. Who's stepping up? Is that, up? Is that, uh, is that no, who? Are yes, no? no. Oh, they're leaving. I don't think so. I think they're... Leaving the venue. Some of our favorite players. Some of our heroes. Who haven't we seen yet that I feel like we should have? XP2K? Yeah, oh no, he is coming he up. He might be coming up to the stage right now. Oh, here we go. Upcoming Grinding Fox from Brisbane, Queensland. And I believe Goody is in this pool, who is also walking up. Looking like it. Fox ditto. Oh my. It's going to be a big test for, for XP, for I've, Ronley as we call him. Goody moves faster in game than he is. No, he is at a snail's pace coming up to the stage. <laughs> Slug gaming. <laughs> That was unreal. I, I don't know if you couldn't walk slower no, if you yeah, tried. Yeah, that's impressive. Truly conserving every last ounce of energy he has. Oh, goody. Oh. You hate to see the, the, the young lad in a state. I think we're probably good to go. Yeah, the young thumbs up comes through. No warrant required, presumably. We're right off the battlefield. I feel like this is a test for both players, mainly Ron, but like for Goody, right? Like winning a, a high speed matchup, when you're maybe not feeling it, is is going to be tough. Uh, I assume. Both these guys play red, actually, don't they? Yeah. So we're going to wait for confirmation of who's playing who. I'm not sure. We'll, 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 we'll be able to figure it out. Okay. I reckon that's Goody on the blue. Yep. <laughs> that looked like a Goody tactic. So Goody on blue fox, Ron on the red, Ron, Aka, XP2K. We might be bouncing back, what we call him. Because he's our friend. Oh, SDI. Good stuff from Goody. Oh, trying to mash out, presumably a down tilt. Uh, Mr. Dash. Bob Gap. Oh, wait a minute. Not that little setup he just played. Oh, no, but he gets reversal. Just grabs him. Oh, right, Ron, not, Ron, not quite chasing to ledge. No, just go straight. Goody is it's very hard to guess where Goody's going to go, I feel. Even compared to Josh, man, it almost feels like Goody's just like at random going up straight or to ledge. Yeah, he does have crazy. Oh, oh Ron, he's just kill him. Surely, man. Surely just get up on the damn yellow stick. Although if it was that easy, we'd all be beating Goody. Hey. Could be me. Goody just dash attacking in. Yeah. yeah. Playing it simple, playing it clean. Pretty sure I won the last set. Hey, come on, man. This is about this is about what's going on right now. I pressed up on the stick. Yeah, we love to see that. We love to see Skip SBM pressing up on the yellow stick, securing fat dubs. Meanwhile, Goody would love to secure a dub. Moving on from pools, getting the day oh, over just with. Back in again for the love of God. Okay, nah, he makes it work. Sets up a pretty strong situation with the shine. Sorry, I thought it was the other way around. I thought, uh, it, was like, I thought it was 180. I was like, why are you shining there? Yeah. Can Ron dodge a force lock and make the go. comeback of Kings? smoke on his face. We'll see. Goody just... 
punishes that little bit harder. Yeah, plays plays the scramble want. that little bit better. Whoa, like that, look at that, reversal. dude. What an up tilt. The reversal SDI up. strikes again. Yeah, he really is the lord of reversals. Great recognition to go for another up tilt. What a shield poke, are you kidding me? Not quite getting the shine back yet, but Ron misses with the ledge dash. But he seals up game one in confident fashion. Yeah. See, Ron, Ron needs to pep in his step. Yeah, I was going to say. He's start hitting those like fatty conversions, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that big like shine jab up air. But goody has got that like SDI unlock. Like if, if your flow charts are being hurt like this by the other player's defense, you kind of waver. Yeah. You wonder like, well, what do I do from here? Like he's trying to scrap with the, you know, scrapyard king. Yeah, not gonna work. So even like that, like slide off shine, like how are you ready for that from either side? How are you supposed to be ready as wrong? What you got wrong though, Chase? That's all right, sets up the edge guard. Reverse hit though, because he just finds the other ledge. And now this like, okay, okay. The movement was so good by Goody to bait him into going in there. He really just needs to like not have a gap develop. Like if you can't kill him here, you're just not winning these games. Gets a spot dodge called out. Reverse there. All right, finds the ledge. There we go. Pretty clean. Goody looking to the air. Looking to the ultimate setup saying, are you watching? Probably not thinking that at all, actually. Probably thinking, go away. <laughs> He's thinking, shut up. Oh, shut up. Rob isn't that exciting. Clean down smash. This is the edge guard though, no back air. Meanwhile, Ron keeping it very clean. Simply, oh, oh no. the ang from Goody and Ron wasn't ready. I can't believe he matches out of grab. Well, all uh, things are grab. Like, so smart, right? Yeah. Uh, it kind of feels like a lot of players will scramble the same way where it's like, I'm always going to mash shine, I'm always going to mash spot dodge. Goody's not like that. Goody, is, sometimes he's mashing grab. Like, like why? But it works. Things just work for him. Yeah, it's, it's, he's got some kind of subconscious system in his head that, that like lets him scramble in this way. Uh, he, he got the CC, it was a little bit slow. See, Ron's fighting this game. He's, the big difference right now is uh, edge guards, right? Like, Ron's keeping the edge guards very clean. Even if he's not really getting the reads, he's setting up well. And that's how an upset is made. Upsets are made on, upsets are made on the edge guards. Yeah, Ron can't drop this stock here for nothing. No, gotta... if, if he goes to last stock here, like, Goody's pretty clutch. Great DI on the up tilt, but oh, DI's away on up. the back air. Trying to ex maybe DI an up smash, presumably. Yeah. Oh god, here we go. Grab from Goody sets up the guard. Oh, that shine whips. Shine out shield though. Uh, and oh, yeah, gets, gets the, the delayed little armada shine there. Very clean by Goody. Very clutch. Like I said, goes to the last stock. Yeah. Goody clutches it out super cleanly. Got to tack on some damage there. But we saw a better fight from, from XP2K, but yeah, yeah, yeah. is what it is. Goody's tough to beat. Next Ooh. set, Dumb not at a snail's pace, at a cheater's pace. Dom Hines. No, he's walking he's past. Walking, completely walking past the stage, not playing. <laughs> Too fast for his own good. I know, he's... You know, he might be able to catch him. There he goes. He, we have the speed cameras. We caught him. Out the door. So long. And who could be next? Everyone's kind of mingling, you know. Yeah, everyone, there's a lot of intermingling right now. Presumably, uh, we're getting quite far into these round two pools. Been going on for about an hour right now. Yeah. So Gosh knows who's left, who's alive. Who's, who's been sent home? Mm. Who won? Who's next? You decide. Could it be? Syndicus Catherine? Syndokas? Versus Catherine? This is a, a set to decide a seed, presumably. Yeah, I would imagine these are They're playing two for and two three. and three. Yeah. yeah, I don't know who's two and who's three, but they're... I think Syndicus will be two. Syndicus Maybe. has been getting results. Maybe. Either way, a test for both players. I think this is a well-deserved playoff for two and three, right? Yeah. Like, whoever wins this does deserve the second in their pool. For sure. Yeah, it's a good win. And uh, a good matchup for Captain Falcon against Princess Peach, but uh, never never a sure thing. You know, slight advantage for Falcon, a lot of people say. I'd agree. And uh, Catherine has played Caleb every week of her life. True. A lot of EXP on the side of of Catherine. Caleb the and MP. Syndicus, though, like fire and ice. Oh, yeah, very different Falcon players. And Syndicus puts in a lot of work specifically in the floaty matchups, mm. defeating... Tid at floating point. Recently defeating Emps 
at uh, the latest smash on Scott. He's so, uh, if there's ever a good draw, it's a floaty. And I love it. They're using the random select screen. We love to see it. That's old school. Wait a minute. Oh. All right, where are they going? Where are we dropping? Um, I'm thinking it's a battlefield situation, but we'll see. Yeah, would be a pretty clean strike. These days, that's where Peach goes. Yeah, my man. My man it cosplay. depends if Syndicus is a is a Dreamland enjoyer or not. And it looks like no. Nope. It's Bats. Wonder who. Um, you got Slay from Cindy's side and Sally. Sally. <laughs> what is Sally? <laughs> like like Salieri, like uh, Mozart's sister. Ooh. That would be a deep. That's a deep cut. Salieri. I say Nick might know a thing or two about that. Oh, I see. He's a cultured man, I say Nick. Yeah. These guys are quick. Look at them. Like, they're just... They're interacting like nobody's business. I imagine Kath also wanted to have Slay, but they could not. Oh, I see. They're, they're trying to both Slay. But you yeah. can get, like, you know, Leech Speak. Put the number Leech four for, for the A. Yeah, you can get creative with it. All right, I'm hopping on. I, I got a root for SA here. We got... We got uh, a... Like a big bias. Oh, yeah. We've got two Victorians on the mic and Kai joining us to rep <laughs> Adelaide. Here for his girl, Catherine. This is such a scrap first matchup. Like these two are like not neutral players. Hell no, <laughs> not even close. Cats live in this one. Also really good because um yeah like hella practice with Caleb, uh, Swagman as well. Both uh, like both Captain Falcons that we have locally. Yeah, we're kind of a little a little dry on peaches these days. And Vic, we got Gooch putting in work. Shoutouts. Uh, yet to kind of cross his first big dub in a while though. A lot of game fives for Gooch. But, uh, you know, if anyone's going to give Syndicus peach practice, it's that young man in Vic. But Kath is a little a little more scary than Gooch. You know, her Nair's hit that little bit harder. Have you ever played Catherine Skip? Not in tournament, I think. Really? Yeah, it's actually kind of crazy. I actually don't think I have either. I've always I, gotten lucky I would be keen. She's a scary player. Legit. I mean, it sounds like a, a fun time. It's a good challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think for a while, Kath had this, like, issue where... Um, you know, as soon as like you sort of like ran your game plan, um, she really wouldn't have much to answer for it. But a lot like more recently, she's really like developed a lot of experience in like at least kind of um, being able to like outsmart. More game sense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that game yeah. sense is actually like actually coming through a lot more now. That's what I'm seeing. From the earlier sets as well, it seems like her game game sense is leveling up. And she's got like such a clean lead right now, and she's pushing it really well. She's like keeping, you know. Not really backing up, but just staying hard to interact with. It's a good strat when you have a leader's peach in a matchup like this. She's responding to everything like almost perfectly, just like with her reversal options and her defense, and just like and she's catching so many dash. Like the so dash attacks are always hitting. It feels. Yeah, this has to go for him. a tech. Uh, you can't, couldn't get the SDI in time, I think. Forced him to dip low. Taking a second, taking a breath, closing the eyes. I like it. Honestly, didn't expect um, Kath to be up this much. Me neither. No, I thought either. this was going to be close at the minimum. Nice. That was yeah, actually that's, such a good up air. Yeah, the only conversion he could have got. Doesn't kill. I almost expected up B, but... Oh, imagine. Yeah. All right. This is so doable. Yeah. It's Falcon. It's like a damn Oh, drop. yeah, I mean... What a grab. Great tech in place, I though. I feel like she might have grabbed, like, a jab there or something. I feel like Syndicus could not get a throw conversion. Oh, tech chase. Is, is his flow shot of throws against Peach not wow, like strong enough? so good. Okay, here we go. All right, that's something. No, she oh gets away. My. She drifts oh. away. What a... Cindy getting desperate. <laughs> a little. It goes for the, commits to the full gentleman on shield and Kath punishes. Up there, just to set up another juggle. He's got to watch out here. Down throw. She didn't hit the DI, dash. I think, but I think Syndicus missed his jab, misses a dash. Yeah. To convert it to me. Plus on block. Oh, he had it and then kind of kind of fumbled the scramble. He, yeah, he knows the game's over. Hello. Let's go, Cat. I, I don't think Cinder handles it when the crowd's against him, though. Mm. It's tough as a Falcon player. Yeah, right. You're so used to being the, the crowd favorite, and suddenly you're in a different region. Especially Syndicus. <laughs> yeah. You know what's great, though, is that um, I feel like both these players have a lot of fans. Oh, right? yeah. I'm actually a very big fan of what Cindy's wearing today. Though. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, he's got he's swagged up. It's the fashion designer right there. That's my man's job. Designing that fashion. And we're going to Yoshi's, by the way. 
It's kind of an interesting counter pick. Catherine's just not afraid to go to this stage at yeah, all. Yeah, she really, really likes this like, for up some up reason. Up at knees aren't converting, but just gets a raw knee there off the tournament winner. Yeah, he finds it. He finds it. I think this one's got a lot more potential oh. for Cindy. Yeah, this game's already looking way cleaner, like a much cleaner conversions. Finding those stomps where he wasn't oh, before, and Cat again that'll help. slips away. I feel like, I don't know, maybe hug the top part a little as Cindy here. Like, don't don't feel like you have to interact, right? Yeah, especially with this big of a lead. It can be tempting to just, like, want to press forward and, like, push that lead. But that's exactly what someone who's down is going to want. Oh, uh, he can wall jump. He's got strats. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there he finds the tech. Very nice. nice. No hack no, dash. No ledge dash. Okay. Finds a ledge. I feel like Kath kind of got scared of the, uh, the shy guys the Guys, there. yeah, the fellas got involved. Great space on the oh, oh. No, he misses his double jump. That's right. When you have a lead like this, you can. That's the one stock you're okay to give away. Uh oh, uh oh. No, unless, unless you're not okay to give it away. Great yeah, stomp, dodging yeah. the grab perfectly. And now, like this is kind of the reverse of game one. Oh, nice! Gets out of the corner. Super fat lead for Syndicus. Yeah, Cat isn't like kind of moving forward. No. Enough. Oof. And when she is, it's like really wow. quickly committing to dash attack. It's a really fast turnaround grab. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, Cindy needed to watch that. I send her downtown. Oh, what a grab. He's coming, though. He's here. Uh, can't can't see her to, to the wall that time. Couldn't, couldn't see Randall. This, game, this game's not even close. Over no DI. Eats the knee and Syndicus. Great recognition. It can be hard. Crowd's coming alive for Cindy. He's got the momentum, he's got the crowd. He got the Gatorade like, though. Catherine has the stage. I think what the blue, that's a, that is the bluest Gatorade I've ever seen. Yeah, that, oh my god. I've never seen Gatorade that blue. I didn't know they come in that blue. That, that came out with extra blue recently. Wow, we have a crowd now. Hell yeah. yeah it's like, like, like a, god. Everyone's a good, good bunch of people watching. Yeah, everyone's, I think the setups are empty. It looks like everyone's finished with their pools. This might be one of the last. I see SA and Nick up there. He's not in the tournament. So I'm going to guess that the pools are finished and everyone has their eyes glued to this. I mean, yeah, here we go. Last game. I wonder what he, oh, he banned FD, of course. For a favorable seed in the bracket. You gotta yeah, assume both of these you, players you are making it out. Being a third seed coming out is so rough compared to Tell say about it. first. Uh, everyone does end up in winners in the bracket. Oh, okay, though. okay. That's a good thing. Still, you're gonna have to run into a first seed really soon. Yeah, you play a first seed like almost right away. Oh my god, go Cindy. <laughs> go Cindy, go. Oh! Oh Don't it's waver, Syndicus. Don't waver. Oh, what a Great. fast ball and yeah. twist the Perfect eye. Perfect punish. Perfect punish. Oh, damn. Twisted her way out of that. Dude, that feedback knee was so good. Oh, what a Finds grab. Finds another grab. I feel like they're just, they're just gravi these grabs oh. are gravitating towards Syndicus. Power shield. Oh, yeah, fast full, full drift in and fast balls. She catches them with the down air. Should be a stock. Yep. Yeah, she can just grab all that. Yep. Cindy's looking driven to take this, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, Cindy is like so much hard, for real, from from, from any player. Like, Catherine somehow Ooh. managed to make that platform height work for her. I but Cindy so, now. I got so scared. But Cindy was freaking moving. Both of them were looking to use the low that platform. That is so disgusting. He got a knee off a non LK. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. And no DI away again. Oh, no. Size of the lead. Look how locked Cindy is. That's fine. You can you can have a rapid jab there. She's too far to uh, down smash. They both want it so bad. It's another grab. Di in. No follow up. Oh no. Is she oh, she's again? fine. She's fine. So hard to hit the parasol there. Well, she got another ledge situation. Hack stash. Yeah. Hack stash. Tom. Find center. So good. So evasive. Yeah. See, this is what I mean. Like. Uh Kath is doing this dash dance in the corner, right? But she's not also taking the space and after. Yeah, like right. when Cindy gives it up. But she's, she's getting she's it not. a little bit now. Cindy's so patient, waiting for his moment. Oh. Again, just doesn't try to challenge her oh, there. That's another grab. Potentially the edge, and just eats the knee, the mix up. No up air there. No need. I mean, she didn't DI it correctly. Big lead. Oh, and it just oh, keeps going. It just keeps going. Oh, oh my. Tries to catch another fade away. Eats in there. The crowd is lighting up. Oh my. What is easily one of the Some most hyped sets of the day. Oh, the oh. she's moving. How did that miss? Oh no. Frames away from the knee hitting there. Possibly being the end of the game. Knee! I think that's it. Nice. Little baby pop off. Excellent work. Very clutch by Sindokas. Cindy gets there after kind of being overwhelmed in game one. And game one looked like such a wash and then a suddenly... two games. It was just grab, grab, grab. 
Damn. Found his footing. Uh, Is that... Uh, bugger. Uh, I'll go check with people. Uh, I'll just ask Musky. That might have been the last set of Wave 2. I don't... That's I it. think we're wrapping up pools. Oh, there's more? Oh, we haven't seen Amp yet. Is there another wave of pools? No, we haven't. Amp was wave two. We haven't seen him yet. Ah, oh, Amp versus Luma. So, yeah, we're not done. Informing me that there's a couple more sets to come, couple but more? that was the end of that pool. That was okay, the last game okay, that needed to be okay, played of that yeah, pool. Of that pool, right. Um, so, we do have yeah. more sets of wave two. Luma's been playing a lot of Fox lately. I wonder if we're going to get some Fox yeah, puff action. Yeah, maybe. Maybe the counter pick. Although, I, personally, though, I think Ems is very rarely clutching the ditto in tournaments. Mm. Uh, I think someone definitely just bumped the projector. <laughs> Catherine, bumped, Catherine bumped the projector. Okay, Luma's right. an extremely for fun player, though. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, Coffee's got it. All right. Shout out to Coffee Rex. Yeah, Coffee Rex the homie. A stock away from winning his entire pool. All right, you're right. Here we go. Luma on the Fox. And Emps, a Puff loyalist. Emps only got the Puff. Naked Puff. And we would love to see... Oh, wow, what a... That's actually a pretty clean conversion from Luma. A Puff's worst nightmare is a Puff mains Fox. True. Very shout true. Shout-outs to... Who used to do that? Shout-outs to Palpa. Palpa. Shout-outs to also, in a similar vein, Polish. Yeah, Polish, yeah. For this matchup, also goes Fox. Like, Foxes that are... Not that I think wow. Luma's Fox is just because she just really likes Fox. Yeah, she's kind of on the she's on a new wave with Melee. Mm. She was, you know, once upon a time a Puff player, or even before that, Captain Falcon. Falcon before that, then Donkey Kong. Well, I mean, Puff then Donkey Kong, really. Yeah. You know, uh, at, uh, at floating point, she defeated MC, classic Falcon wow, player with Donkey yeah. Kong. So she's really no slouch in any Smash game. And here she's busting out the Fox for what I think is the first uh, big tournament run of this Fox's career. Famously defeated Don B at the last bout. Oh, true. <laughs> oh, Miles. Oh, Luma known to get wins at yeah, every Luma is, is always a threat, always creating upsets, always messing up schedules by making it way further in every game. <laughs> Beat me at the love of Big Cheese. There you go. She is, uh, we'll see. We'll see what she can do on the Fox. What's to be reckoned with, however, Amps is just a... Uh, you say and you are not an uh, yeah, you unstoppable it. force. I'm the immovable object. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you ain't moving. I ain't stopping. Great drill. The perfect that's, that's move. The, that's the new. That's. The, oh, uh, not quite. That's the yoink from Ultimate Drill. Truth. Hey, you know what? That's actually the yoink from Smash 64. Oh, nice. You don't even know about that old school stuff. I used to get hit by that. It was. <laughs> God, it's, it's so annoying. Shout out to 64. Great game. Yeah. I should go back sometimes. Shout out to DSC. We love DSC. This is the guy that everyone knows, but he like doesn't compete anymore. <laughs> Shout out to Jaden, best 64 player in the country, Pikachu. Anyway, M's cleaning up this stock, putting up a four stock argument. And now we're going to see a character swap next game. M's is posing the question right now. Uh, that nair was that nair was weak. It was a weak nair. The nair was weak. <laughs> It was a weak nair. Oh, rest? Yeah, I mean, this is like 160. Okay, a trade is pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Luma's just smiling about it. What do you mean I died off the nair? It was weak. <laughs> well, Jerry, you were high percent. What did you expect? we got to bring back the eSports Seinfeld. Oh, true. <laughs> What's the deal with SDI? Wait a minute, wait a minute, is Luma bringing this game back? I thought, in my mind, I'm like, mm, the next stock taken will be the end. But uh, it's still going. Nah, that shield poke. Shield going up there is like really, really scary. Because like full hop back air is prime. Oh, hit. triangle jump. Hit the legs, yeah. And that'll seal up game one. A little scary for a young Emplington. Going to a two stock stitch, but uh, you know, it works, it works. No. This matchup is just so bad, though. Oh, well, I mean, I don't think DK's ever doing it. Quang? I mean, Akia. Quang, Akia, yeah. Famously defeating Hungrybox. Saying, what the F? While doing it. Shout outs, Mo, the absolute uh, oh, homie from Denmark. Yeah. Honorary Australian, Mo. Yeah. Uh, I, sp I guess this is the stage of choice when Yoshi's is off the table. Now, there is a kill confirm at certain percents. Cargo throw can lead into up air, but I think the percent window is pretty... It's pretty tight, I think. Pretty tight, yeah. And whether Luma knows it or not, I don't know. 
But I mean, Ems is good at these kind of matchups. He's he's really good at bullying characters that uh, eat back airs like no one's business. Yeah. Drill is going to be brutal in this matchup, especially now. Pass one forty. Big. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. Ems is looking comfortable. Drill grab, drill up smash, drill drill. All you can really hope for DK is just to. Some early kills. Yeah, get get a couple back airs till till the puffs at like 90. Okay, here we go. This might be. Oh no, nah. nah, that wouldn't have killed anyway. I think. I think the window is potentially open though. 70. Seems like an open window. Oh no, the juggles though. Did he snipe the jump? Maybe back airs out. There's the. <laughs> Luma just takes the opportunity to charge up yeah, a punch. I, I like, like that. I like that. That's pretty smart. It's value. I'm sure that situation comes up in ultimate more times. Oh my! Oh. The inside, inside strong hit on what wasn't that a was nine insane. wind. That was weird. Yeah. Usually when it when uh when the you get the inside hit on a ten wind, it doesn't have a strong hit. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. The crowd coming alive for DK. DK probably the easiest character to like. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey Kong has pronouns, Chan. That's good. 170, I mean, like, if, oh, a back air is just going to seal it. Let's find oh another my. punch. That was, an in, that was the weak hit, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. So it only did about 23. Oh my. It doesn't send Puff too far. Nah, no, yeah. It's really smart to grab the ledge, like knowing that DK was low enough to, to think, not actually get hit. I think she might not have made it regardless. She might not have made it. It's hard to know with DK. Oh, First the rest of the set. I love when what's the punish What did you just look at? <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> simply owned. Here's the thing about Ems. Very rarely does he like to play around. Oh, but he's dying there. Alright, come on. What are you, you know, oh, is he gonna... Don't play for time, dude. Oh, he's, he's doing it. He's, he says, you want you want, you want to play DK versus Rigafob? I will play You Donkey put eight Kong. minutes on the clock, Jerry. <laughs> I'm gonna use him. <laughs> Newman used all eight minutes. You never play for time out. <laughs> Oh, come on. I'm saying you're putting me to sleep out here, Luma. But uh, Luma's the kind of player to kind of take these to the bank, though. <laughs> like, I really think if you should, like, uh, start playing the game again, Em. Start trying to win. Yeah. Because you never know with Luma. Oh, that was a reach. I'm trying to, you're reaching out here with that one, Luma. But I mean, this game's like, not over. <laughs> like, imagine the set. <laughs> He camped your Donkey Kong? He camped my Donkey Kong! Donkey Kong. <laughs> I wish there was a way to... You know the way he says Newman? Newman. It's kind of hard to do Newman. a single... Single, uh... <laughs> syllable names. Like Amps. Amps. Hello, Amps. <laughs> oh, this is what is, what is like going Newman on? There's something there. That's kind of oh, the same. this is epic. This is actually epic. Luma. I, I swear, Amps, if you drop this game, that air dodge is pretty big. Look out, Amps! Mr. President, get down! He's back airing. Oh, no. Uh, Arakin, uh, she's, got, she's got the jump, though. Uh, Amps knows how to space a back air. Oh, big dammy! That's actually huge damage. Oh, my God. She lost her... Mr. President. She lost her wines. <gasps> oh, that's... Win there's no way, this right? This does not look fair. There's no way. Oh, Imagine yeah. a crazy forward air comes out. Oh! That'll do it. All right, all right. We had our fun with it, but Amps knows when an up air is going to kill. Ah, uh, well. Presumably. Oh, Amps winks to the crowd. Showing confidence. Oh, oh and he does finger, finger guns. guns. Oh, my. There's so much <laughs> showmanship. What was, what was that one? Who knows? That's a, take a picture. It's going to last longer. Mason's coming back up. Mason coming back up. Mason the, gr the grimmest of Tuesdays. Versus, uh, let me think, who did McLeod play? Uh, Chibay. Play Could be Mason Chibay. Chibay. Mason Chibay, yeah. Oh, does Mason have the, the Panasonic GameCube shell? Oh, it's not even the shell, he's got the cord as well. He's got the full Panasonic controller. You know about that? The grey Panasonic yeah, yeah, branded yeah, 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 GameCube yeah, controller it, came it. with the DVD GameCube combo. That's pretty beast. It is actually really awesome. So this is Chibe fighting, presumably for his third seed, for his uh, between second and third, between second and third. Is what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, I don't know how many Ice Climbers Chibe would have played against. Not many. We don't really have any ICs in Vic. Since Chibe started, no. I don't think we have any at all, actually. We used to. But we had a couple of wobblers back then. Probably just Mason on netplay, to be honest. Yeah, if he ever plays uh, Mason on netplay, that'd be his practice, so... You got a clutch up, Chibe. <laughs> yeah, this could get ugly for Chibe if... Uh, you know, if he doesn't keep it clean, if he doesn't keep it composed. If we can see the Super Saiyan Chibe we saw at the start of the McLeod set... I reckon we can see a Chibe dub come through, but Crouch cancels one hell of a drug. Yeah, like Chibe can just die. And the Ice Climbers are addicted. Yeah, he's playing off the platforms already. I yeah, like what I'm seeing. Yeah, yep, it's good. But Chibe known to start strong. Yeah. Forward smash the Nana standing up. That was free. Oh, oh there's nothing there. No, yeah, I mean, that was like a clean tipper potentially. Oh, she's gone. Nah, he, he, finds, he finds the up B. Pretty easy. Great start from Chibe, killing, killing the Nan. When Nan's out of the oh, picture, the Phantom magic. is. Okay, I didn't get punished for it. Whoa, wow, great Perfectly spot dodge. Timed. Yeah, really, oh really well timed. Did it like a beat later, Woo! but that's... Woo, my bad, killing him. That is awareness. Killing him with the down airs. Uh, Oh, is, 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 like, I don't know, that's like, you can't kind of wave that smash attack four times in a row. You can't just do that as the ice climb. I mean, that's, that's the strat, right? What's Mark going to do? We get one fair? Maybe. Low percent. Chibe like, dancing around the, the Mason blocks. classic, but Chibe nah, punished you, it. Yeah. Mason kind of babysitting down in there saying, she's protected. Yo, step, step back. I'll go, I'll go with me. Nana's a made man. <laughs> That's a main man. Yeah. <laughs> he, 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 he killed a main man. You gotta go. You gotta you go, Chibe. Evening it up. Chibe looking cool, calm, oh, and collective. Two minds there. Yeah. You really gotta make a call early about what you're trying to do. Whether you're trying to bait Popo and hit him or just get a clean kill on Nano. Okay, nice. Kind of a bit of a Rupert forward air. Strong hit where you don't really want it. Ooh. Find the run. Oh, that kills. Damn. No, run away. You never want to mess yeah, with yeah, Nana. Don't do not. It's just, I always light shield, right? If Nana's standing there... So you know how when Popo's shield is broken, you can control Nana? You could, yeah, it's the same level of control. Does, yeah. this, does the same work if Popo dies for that brief moment that Nana's still alive? Yeah, you got to be close. It's, it's proximity based. Ah, uh, yeah. And like also like what Nana's doing, obviously. Yeah. Because like she can break sync. Yeah. Okay, up air, I don't know about the up air. I, I think just like a carry Nana off stage is more fair. But... Yeah, I would agree. I would say keep it simple against the climbers. The players who are good against climbers are the, the ones that have always kept it hella simple. Even Armada played like pretty, pretty simple in this matchup. And I like that from Chibe. Giving up the ledge just to just to get Nana killed, because now it's way it's way harder to kill Mark without Nana. Like a grab doesn't really do much. Badly the eye down smash will kill like Mark. Wow. That tip it as well. Wow, that's, that's like that's the crazy like hill tipper, like yeah. that inside tip of hit. Let's dash roll and get him a lot of mileage. So smart to not grab there. Yeah, because you know if you get grabbed, like the other climb is still going to be active. That's so tempting. You kind of want to get frozen yeah. at those percents because you just get sent so high and you can't really combo. Yeah, you're just down. Because you're, you're kind of invincible when you're frozen, right? Or you can only take damage and not knock back. Yeah. You just get popped up and you just don't die. So eventually, oh like, Blizzard's a very low value after a certain point. Yeah. Speaking of low, like speaking of high value, high value nano kill because now it's like I don't. Yeah, he gives it up. Also, just um. Yeah, what's up? We kind of let it slip, but the Dreamland start. Chibe got strats for this matchup. He's like playing with a game plan, yeah, which like, is really surprising for someone who doesn't have a lot of in-tournament IC experience. Yeah, like you wouldn't think you'd think uh, you just insta ban Dreamland, especially in like a quote-unquote floaty matchup. But no, I've seen SA Nick versus Cookbook. At yeah, Man. oh and, yeah. And that Dreamland game went went a certain way. Chibe playing more like SA Nick. It's good to see that. It's good to see Chibe like really sticking to a game plan and executing it, right? Yep. This is also just like a matchup that several ICs have like famously struggled with. I believe Nintendo, a big uh, Marth ICs kind of Duma. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, this matchup is not good for the climbers. Chibe tries to find the down air. He, I think he got a little shaken. He was a little worried he was going to get hit. Oh, what a re entry. Yeah, very clutch that that fair hit. Otherwise, he was, yeah, he was, dead. He was so dead, right? Mason trying to lock him down and get him to make a move. Chibe does buy it. Ooh, what a shield! How is Chibe this cognizant? He just knows. He just knows, man. It, it almost looks like he's playing like he has EXP. Yeah, which is super nuts. Maybe he's just played Mason a lot. Yeah, potentially. These guys both uh, bum around the other end quite a bit. Yeah, that's so worth it. Yeah, yeah really, really yeah. clutch tip on that one. Hop smash? I wonder if that was intentional. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah. No jump here. No jump. Air dodge down. Oh. Air dodge down's a great option. But now, big tip coming through. Chibe sitting on them side plates. Saying, you, you are coming to me, my friend. It's so cool to see these old school, new school like battles. And Chibe is so new school. Yeah. Like, he's like 17, I think. No, Mason is, uh, he's been around. He's been around. He's, he's an old denizen of Smash Boards, if you want to know how long he's been around. Nice. Look, kind of a semi trade there. Like, oh, no, he's, pretty, he's pretty close. He's pretty close. You get a pretty strong mix up when you recover that closest mark. Yeah. Definitely worth it. What a, what a dash dance. Chibe. Yeah. Moving, grooving, and look, looking Ooh. to not lose. Read the high side B, but it's just kind of so hard to not get hit by it. They both click the C stick there. Yeah. That's clean. You get him off stage with no jump. Yep. And I don't know if you can fade around that, but if he could, uh, he didn't get it. Ledge dash roll again. Ledge dash double roll because he kind of got himself into a little bit of trouble. That like fair and then roll is really bizarre. Great space and dodges a shield grab. Mason was just kind of chasing him around while Chibe beat up the Nana. Dude, this is tough. Like, Chibe's playing so hard to get. You, know, you get frozen. Like I said, being frozen yeah. is chill. Literally. <laughs> Goes the jump early. Yeah, up he's low. Yeah, up he's low this time. Finally getting tagged by a forward smash. But you've taken significant chip yeah. damage. I was going to say, Nana's kind of getting oh, up there. Yeah. She's still had a jump there. Okay. Buys a little bit more time. Good by Chibe. Oh my god. Yeah, he's really playing around the Blizzards now. These low percent, oh. that's when Blizzard is really money at low percent, right? And Chibe knows not to mess with it. Yeah. Up tilt, okay. Goes for damage. Super low percent. I would just go for stage positioning there. Yeah, I mean, that's what he was doing earlier. But, uh, you know, whatever. Oh hey, my big. god. What a, like, pivot F smash. So perfect game. stock. Yeah, I mean, just really immaculate gameplay. It's like just 30 seconds of just really clean gameplay. But it's dangerous. You don't want to be on the ledge. Right. I think the one thing potentially missing from Chibe's gameplay is down tilt. Super strong option in this matchup. But when you don't need it, you don't need it, right? Like, uh, if, if you're really spacing every forward at like this perfectly, and the ICs are really struggling to get in, you don't need to potentially be down tilt. Like There's kind much. of a, a new wave of discourse happening among Marth lanes where they're kind of questioning the utility of down tilt. Yeah. That's true. ASDI down is pretty powerful. But against climbers, like, man, they go far. Yeah, there was like a, a Rishi, like, screenshot or whatever that's like, why would you down tilt when you can simply grab? <laughs> Which true. I don't know the full context of how that makes sense, but, like, I think in this matchup, down tilt probably trumps grab in a couple of situations. Okay, this is scary. It's last yeah, stock. Yeah, last stock, and Isis can deal that damn. Oh, that is damn damn. That, yeah, she's gone. It's going to have to be so a Sopo comeback. Can we see? Big Willy Sopo comes back. Chase. Uh, did he land? He did. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Potential to go high. Tilt this time, no. See, now he knows that like it's it's yeah, yeah. that'll seal it. Nice. Pop off from Chibe. Gets an upset over Mason. Oh, I imagine Chibe was seated higher, but dude, he played great. He played really, really well. Super clean. All really around. refreshing to see him actually like take it all the way. Yeah. From, from start to finish, the, the game plan. Set. The game plan was Got locked, loaded, and executed. So this is the last set. Last of wave two, one. and it's our home. It's a Sydney classic. Even though XP two thousand is back in Queensland now, but he's, he's known to live in many cities. For, XP two K. For a moment, he lived in a uh, Sydney, and this was a kind of classic at the local. Yeah, yeah. XP two thousand and Ted. Ted. Not Snurd. Another. <laughs> as we as we've come to learn. Oh, what is happening to? What is this? Oh, Did you see what the hand was doing? Yeah, some fobs they talk to you with the hand. Mm. They got a little hair, you know. 
What is it called? Sign language? True. <laughs> Melbourne, 17F. <laughs> I didn't even get the order right. I don't know who usually wins this. I assume Ron does. Uh, yeah, I think Ron was saying that this, like, they were trying to avoid this pool. Well, all three of them, because they obviously all play all the time. But Ron felt bad because he was like, yeah, every time I play them, I just kind of win. Tid has been putting in work, though. Like, if there's ever a chance for Tid to change the narrative and get the upset on XP, it's right here, right now. Right here at the Big Cheese 4, last set of pools. The world is watching. Yeah, when, when everyone's done with their sets, this is when people watch. That's kind of what's nice about a uh, Wave 1, is that very little pressure. Yeah, Brad is watching, and he's my world, so... We love Brad. <laughs> Big moment for everyone on screen. Big warm-up, going past 60 seconds. Some might argue a faux pas. Flags in the back, a reminder to vote if you haven't yet. Anyone in uh, anyone in Australia? Above yeah, the guys, age. for real. Don't miss out on voting. Even like people are like, oh, it's the fight's not that much, but like have have a say, man. It's important, for real. I ain't even trying to be funny. It is important, and also on a personal level, you don't want to get fined. So no, quick. you really don't. What I imagine they close at like five, six. I, uh, I don't yeah, know, probably no. around five or six. Maybe even later. I don't know, you're kind of a chump if you came to Big Cheese and you didn't do Postal. I did Postal. I, I got in mad early. I walked in, I just walked in to my local thing on like a Tuesday. Yeah, early like, voting centers did exist. Yeah. I think that's the, the route most people right. took. Let's do it. That's underway. What is the first day interesting? Usually this is a Samus counter pick, but maybe uh, Ron is giga comfortable, giga confident. Yeah, probably. Uh, oh, uh, speaking of giga confident, what a crap from, from downtown. Great CC. Tid is just such a... He's a prototypical Samus in a really good way, right? Mm. Like, he's really on top of, like, crouch cancelling and getting uh, good recovery mix-ups. Yeah. Hitting that down smash. I think he got his juice back at some point. Yeah, he's got yeah, it. Yes, sir. Wall jump. No. Nah. He's alive, though. Let's make it. I feel like an up smash could have connected, but... He might have had to neutral get up there. Would have been risky, because you can potentially eat a, a down smash. Off a shielded up smash. Pretty jump there. Ron's a, Ron's a cleaner. I was about to say this. Ron's not really like a... You know, Josh Man is like, oh, nah, nah, forward air, up smash. Yeah. Ron is like, I'm going to get you to up smash percent, and then the up smash, I will find it. Yeah, I'm going to scoop you. Yeah. He's good at finding it. He's good at knowing when you're going to want to act, when you want to want to do what you're going to want to do. And uh, These days, though, you know, the cleaners might be a dying breed. I feel like the foxes that, that take you from, from Z to D do a little better. Yeah, one There's of nothing the, wrong with being a cleaner. One of the last remaining cleaners. <laughs> I'm a survivor. We're a dying breed. <laughs> Shout out to you. Well, I know what that's for. <laughs> See, look at this. He's just like casually walking himself into up smash percent. He eats an air there, but like that's the game plan, right? And it's pretty strong against Samus. It's a tried, tried and tested game plan against the bounty hunter. Shield drop, drill through the platform, just that's a whole stock. Ooh, what an air mash out. <laughs> Ron knows that one was kind of funny. Evens it up. Keep it, keeping it clean. Tid waiting out the inball. I love that. That's actually... Yeah. That's a great strat. Because those bombs, you can't really trade with them. I, th I think they have like transcendent uh, priority or something. There's no way to clank. Oh, interesting. Pretty sure. Uh, so can't... transcendent properties only occur on air. Yeah, yeah, the B yeah. moves on ground do clank. Ah, uh, so you can like potentially yeah. dash attack a bomb, but not jump into it. Uh, like B moves can clank with B moves um, oh. on the ground, but in the air they don't. Because like you know how like shine happens, like both are invincible, and then like they both clank, right? Oh. But they're grounded. What a That's why. Yeah. So if you do aerial you. shine, you actually beat the other shine out if the other one's grounded. Right. Right. So I wonder what the strat. I wonder if there's, if there's any strat to beat bombs. Like when you when he's on top flat. Probably not. Probably. Just, I mean, it's Samus. He's, they don't. The bombs aren't gonna kill you. Like you can really just wait it out and then start like lasering. Very underrated thing about spaces is like laser just means you can't top platform camp them really. Yeah. They can always full hop laser to, to win back some advantage. Yeah, Fox just has it all. What a grab on the landing. 
He can camp, he can rush down, but you also can't camp him. Yeah, he's super tough to camp. You kind of can. You can your Falgo list. <laughs> and even then, it's not easy. Tit's playing positioning. He's like really trying to gun for positioning right now and trying to make it work, but like Ron is so scary. I said the game plan, man. Like, you just laser, you shoot the gun. Uh oh, Ooh, no. Bad yeah. Light screen. He gets, he gets one more chance. I feel like Side B was oh, not the wave. I feel like low key, low key high key, right? Yeah, you yeah. Up low key, high key. When you're up B, you're basically off stage, you're up B, and you go to ledge. Yeah. Side B just giving him, especially that yeah, high. Like that, him. that's a reaction there every day of the week. And Tid going up in this set. Like I said, man, Tid putting in the work. He's grinding out here. Battlefield. Oh my god. Always a good pick against Samus, given the Samus less room to uh, tether on the recovery. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty it's a pretty casual uh, kind of neutral stage, I'd say. But a neutral stage is good when, when you're playing as a character who's maybe not as top tier, you know? You basically just pick it. It's like, hey, space if I want it. Ledge if I need it. Let's, let's hustle. Ooh, that was a crazy angle to ledge. It looked super high. I wonder if Ron's just like faltering a little, getting mashed out of these combos. Can't quite get a shine conversion. Oh God. Just absolutely swinging. Might as well. Swinging that big thing around. Oh, the little oh. guy! <laughs> the slightly less little, still little guy. Back at kills? Alright, clean. Playing for the second seed out of this pool. Big man. I reckon shoot a weak missile there. Mm. BT dubs. Try to try to hit an up B. Yeah. Oh my god. Dude, he just waved out, waved out Shin and then he said, I'm holding down for the foreseeable future. Sign of confidence. He's so locked in. He's uh I wonder if his shirt is like a oxymoron like I'm trying to be tuned in and turned on. Mm. Turned on in the gameplay way. Yeah. Mm. He's turned off on Officer Day. Ah, it is Officer Day today. Yeah. So when you go to vote. But I voted no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Guys, that was a joke. <laughs> it is not Officer Day. Uh -huh. We're safe. Enjoy the <laughs> April Fool's, brother. No. They, they can't get us. I'm turning really small. Shrinking! This is potentially big for Tid. Uh, uh, dash like a shoulder charge. Ooh. Confidence to be like, you ain't making it back. Charging in the face of a Firefoxing man's. Dude, when you reset the like lead of Samus, it feels so good. Because not only are you even now, but you got you got one of them fangs loaded. Yeah, you got a Are we gonna see oh, the thing? The thing. Oh, the thing. Please. Pops off. Oh, oh my god, he needed yeah. Ron could have got ledge angle could have gotten there. What a, what a yeah, big swing in this game. Set man. defining yeah. charge shot. They don't all have to hit. Just, just you the one really that matters. Are, uh, yeah, a lot of times it really is just one matters. <gasps> uh oh, charge, charge shot. shot. Oh, Duck six. Six. I feel like if Tid lands first and then and then shoots it, it hits. But he tried to call up a high side B, which is fair enough. <gasps> Shine, he can Still tether. Has enough room to hit. Uh oh. Oh, there's the big Dude. knockdown. He's been running away with this. Yeah, maybe running away with the whole damn set. This is such a hard percent for Fox the player. It really is. You gotta. Honestly, a big thing here, it feels scrubby, but like against Samus, you really can jab. Mm. Okay. Alright, Ron cleans it. Ron's got the stock. Goes to the last stock, but I mean, 86 is massive, man. Like a, a, a poorly DI down smash just seals the set or a, or a fat missile. Doesn't go to ledge, goes straight. I actually kind of like straight there, lets you get side plat. Oh. You really got to do like wave dash out shine to go for a shine conversion. Even though it's super tough on Samus, the forward tilt, the wall. Oh. To the window. To the ledge. Oh. Okay. Is Tid feeling the pressure as well? No conversion off that Nair. Who's scared to get, uh, to get Nair out of this combo? Ron's playing so safe right now. Yeah, he's actually picking his spots really well. <gasps> no does way! That, does that end the game? Wow, clutch as oh fuck, Oh my dude. god. Clutch as all hell. Take a fucking bower on. That was insane. Yeah, he played every spot super well. Little spots as well, which are, which are the ones that are hard to play. Yeah, my god. I'm so impressed. And now, I mean, he's burnt our uh, fod, right? There's really no strong counterpick. 
Yoshi's. My man says, I'm going all in. If you're, if you're Tid, you know, this is such a such a test right now. To have it in your hands and then... Yeah, to kind of have it gotta play slip away. To have the guy... Suddenly the guy, like, just gets mad slippery and you're like, damn. Yeah, this dude wasn't that slippery a minute ago. He probably wasn't ready to play another game. No, I don't think... This can happen, dude. When you like, you feel like you've won the set, yeah. and then suddenly the dude just clutches up, and you're like, "Oh man, I I, I don't got an idea for yeah. game three right now. I got nothing. Left it all out there." If he can just play like game one, where he really guns for position, I feel like we can see him take this set. Great grab. Ooh, that's the classic, but he just dodges it. It's as fuck. He bowed the f word. Dude, not cool, man. <laughs> there are kids watching, dude. Yeah, he's just narrowing in his face. Great grab again, back air. Nice. Yeah, finds it. Low back, calls out the angle. We love to see it. There it is. Cash moving. Yeah, Titch moving, put it up the wall. Okay, just goes for up air. Not the strongest conversion, but if it's all you can get, it's all you can get, right? But like back in the days, what Samus's would do, they would just up B again for another knockdown. Yeah. But like with SDI these days, man, like I don't Whoa! know if that would work. And what a reach! Hunted him down. What a reach! What a sniper! I thought Samus was the bounty hunter, man. Oh, man, my man is shark. My man said I'm going underground, like a shark. Shark Tank, Mr. Wonderful. Shoutouts. <laughs> oh, peepee -pee poopy. <laughs> Shoutouts to Damon. Oh, sneaks! Oh, yeah, so sneaky, right? Tyson Tid's still got it. And Ron is looking poised. Oh, oh I feel imagine, like imagine down tilt there, yeah. dude. Imagine down tilt. Ron's just doing the, the whiff punish thing, but... Yeah, big launcher. He gets punish. Not the greatest DI, yeah. but I mean, you do live. No. Clutch. Perfect nair there, right? Clutch, yeah. To send him back. And now you got like you got the charge shot loaded. It's anyone's game, really. Find some up there. So the logic with SDIing Samus is up here, right? You always want to SDI the first hit as far to the left or right as possible. And then once you're once you're being once you're in the blender, you start up SDIing like up and away. Mm. Yeah, That's yeah, how yeah. you get out of the spacey. Dude, this, this charge shots, it's Chekhov's charge shot, man. It's gotta come out. <laughs> Did he lose it? No, he has it. It's Karnov's revenge. <laughs> Balloon! Oh! Pops him not like too, a balloon. Not too precious with it, didn't use it. Lost it. Crowd popping off for Ron XP2K. Oh. The chat's popping oh, off. Okay. Dude, Ron oh. just knocked out a ledge. I kind of feel like that's a potential gap in the recovery uh, flowchart for Ron. He kind of has been, but that time I feel Tim threatened it actually enough to Yeah, kinda... there was a bit of a threat in there. But it's like deceptively safe, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, I don't know if Samus. I don't Can't think do a lot. Samus is a uh, forward angle down tilt. Oh my god. Gets the confirmed strongest We're backer on last in the game. Lock. Last game of pools. This is do or die. Fucker champions. I feel like, I mean, like, 10 more percent here, and suddenly up smash is doing hella things. Dude, SDI down? Up smash kills now. Up smash definitely kills now. Whoa! Oh. The, the invincibility frames of the tech roll! He shot the J and it went there. Oh no, nothing. I reckon falling up here, man. Oh, Dude, imagine. He called out the jump. Hello. Oh, he's gonna get poked. He's Dude, got no shield. So scary for both he's got players. no shield. Oh, Finds it, clutches it. Up Super sneaky, right? I didn't even see him coming down. Yeah. Oh my god. Maybe to Tid. So close. For Ron Tid, finds his second seed out of round Robin oh, pulls. Clutch for and That was the Ron last Lee. set. Of pools, Aka day one singles for Big Cheese. I believe doubles is up next. Yeah. In only a yeah. few minutes. So, uh, Maybe in an no, hour. No, no, not in, in a few in minutes. In an hour. Um, so the schedule is doubles is at five o'clock, actually. That's in one hour. So, yeah, in about an hour and five minutes. Um, so what I'll probably do for the stream is I think I'm going to, like, cut it for a little bit, right? Like, actually go offline. Um, but we will be back at five o'clock. So come back in an hour. And, um, yeah, keep, we'll see you then, folks. Keep the tab open. Peace out. Yeah. Anything so, you guys want to say? Shout outs, Big Cheese. Shout outs, uh, yeah, shout outs to Kaiser. 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 Flow rats. <laughs> Kaiser's on my left here. Flow donate rats. to the gaming fund next to the um, next to the TO. If, you got, if you're in the venue and you got spare change, donate to the gaming fund. So the story behind that was like my mum came by my house. So I, I'm from Port Piri, right? Two and a half hours north of Adelaide. And um, fucking just like showed up at my door at like 11. <laughs> I was like, hey guy, I know it was your birthday last week. Here's like some things. I'm like, Okay, cool. Just woke me up, but whatever. I'm really busy. And then um, I didn't, like, check the bag at all. Came home, like, last night, had a look, 
and there's like a wooden box. It's like a coin box that just has the words like gaming fund in the the craziest font I've ever seen. It's not even like Jokerman tier, but it's just like wonky. You got, you got a deep dive on Word mm. to find that font. You know, and, and a little like gaming controller logo on it. So I'm like, well, I'll bring this to Big Cheese. Yeah, it's like a little see-through volu- money box. It's a volunteer event, it's guys. cute as hell. Hey, and like, minute. we're Keep obviously up. not making a profit this year. So, you know. Hell no. A- anything that you can do to like help us. Like we have stickers at the door. Sub to KP Kaiser on Twitch have, um, ASAP. You want, you want to actually donate to the coffee instead of getting the oh, getting true. owned. If you, do, if you want Bezos to starve like we all do, hit that link in the chat. Yeah, that's five what I'm bucks, talking about. Five bucks for, to watch a tournament? Yeah, so it's a pay what you want. If you want to buy me a coffee, basically, you can do that. And um, yeah, so yeah, doubles in an hour, guys. Come back then. And yeah, shout outs to Fleur Rats. Shout out to everyone running. I'll see you soon. See you in a bit. Peace.